And we're live. All right. So today we are going to finish the base. Finish the base. Mm -hmm. Finish the base. Put the base. Put the base. All right. We have. We have bamboo. We have bamboo. Look, I do not have very much bamboo. I thought I had very much bamboo. I think I spent half of it on something. I don't remember what. Probably crafting tables. Crafting tables? <coughs> Ew. Why would somebody spend bamboo on crafting tables? Who would do such a thing? They would have to be a pain. Or a compass. To do that. <laughs> have you been helping pain do terrible things? Pain still plays. Is a menace to the natural order. It wasn't even him who started it, though. A menace, I tell you. A menace. We're gonna have to find out what he's been up to soon. Wait. Is that new? What? What's the thing on top of the... The Statue of Liberty? Statue of Liberty? Yeah. That's skipping ahead. So much for sticking to a stone edge theme, I guess. Some people here just don't understand what it's like to be. That is such a satisfying sound. Oh yeah. What are you doing, Stormy? Gathering bamboo from the bamboo farm. I'm gathering it from the wall to the extent that we don't need. You would eat your own house if you were a gingerbread man, wouldn't you? <laughs> what kind of I mean, probably, but... That's one of those, like, why, what kind of question is that? But also, I suddenly know the answer. Let me put it this way. If I was a gingerbread red man and my house grew back, I would eat the inner layers of my house. Does that count? Yeah. Actually, I don't know. Would I eat my own house? If my own house didn't grow back. No, I'm one of those people where they're just like, I have too many potions, but I don't want to use them because I only get a certain amount. I'm one of those people who saves the important item, one use items until the end of the boss fight and never actually uses them. Mm hmm. You know the, you know the thing. I know. I know the thing. There's, there's a meme about that. The, uh,. I only get a finite number of these. I gotta save them until a really important time, and then I never use them. Yep. Because you actually just get good, and then you don't need it during the boss battle. Well, there's a poll. What do you consider to be that in Minecraft? What's the thing that you save to the till you need it, and then never actually use it? Um. I don't think I ever use potions outside of utility reasons. Like, what is something you have in Minecraft that you save for a rainy day and then never actually use? Um, I will say, probably for me, gas tears. I'll have gas tears that are like, I treat them like they're super valuable and then I never actually use them. Um, let's see, so there's gas tears. What else? Um, dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath is really hard to come by. Yeah, literally have never, not in our server, um, literally have never used Dragon's Breath. Never use, I've used gas tears, I've done potions. But like, I've gathered gathered Dragon's Breath and I poured it like a dragon. I never use it. Uh, I think I've done it with, like, turtle shells. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you're just like, I'm gonna save these for a rainy day. Like, I go and I make the the um, 
farm for turtles to get their shells or whatever. And then I don't actually... By the time I get to the point where I'm getting enough turtle shells that I can make a helmet, um, I'm past that and I'm somebody else is on to enchanting. So I just enchant my armor instead. So... Level that down. What? So when you... When you hear that question, like, what are other games that you do that with? Do you have the pro that problem in, like, a Zelda game or something? Oh, easily. What items are you afraid to give up? Um, playing Tears of the Kingdom and playing, like, um, Breath of the Wild. I actually did not use the Master Sword in, like, unless I was in the, in the castle. I mean, maybe that's a strat, but I didn't. <laughs> that's hilarious. So you just never used it because you wanted to keep it for just in case. Yeah, because it's it's one of those things where it, it it recharges, which is nice. But if I'm going into the castle, which I have like an anxiety with, like it's one of those like boss battle anxieties because I'm not great at video games. I play them. That doesn't mean I'm good at them. I think you're better than you think you are. I'm getting better than I think that I am. But that's not always the case. <laughs> Look at his sentences that. I'm getting better than I think that I am. <laughs> I mean, that's something I would say. Maybe that's... Maybe that's you, just us being in sync as a married couple. But like, it's kind of funny to be like, Hey, I'm getting better than I think that I am. Like, what? <laughs> Well, one of the things that I've developed in the last couple of years, because I've now played Breath of the Wild about four times through, and I've used a different strategy every single time. Um, but one of the things that I'm actually pretty good at, and I'm not doing Master Mode because of this, yeah. is I can parry. And I can dodge... I mean, you've watched me dodge those... Um, what are those centaur things? Lynels. Mm -hmm. um, like, I can dodge the Lynels... Fairly regularly. I'm only gonna take this one. <laughs> Why would you take it from there? <laughs> because I'm a psychopath. But there's like the. <sighs> Never mind. It's even better. I'm gonna put these. Right no, you're not doing anything. Get away from my tree. <laughs> Welcome to the Stone Age. We're savages here. <laughs> We're animals. <laughs> <laughs> I needed an axe. Oh. Ooh. I was going to make an axe. I actually need more than one flint. Oh, that's awkward. Hehe. <laughs> Karma. Ah, I got it over with. Come on. I you fixed your mistake, by the way. Of course it is. But yeah, anyway. Would you like the rest of the wood so you can make sticks? To find the rest of the wood. The two planks. Uh, yeah, I was mostly just being a brat about them. They're not in my way. But yeah, so I've been able to... Okay, I thought that was a banana and I was about to get really upset. Um... <laughs> Is that a banana next to your portal or are you unhappy to see me? <laughs> Both. <laughs> if A, then B. <laughs> um, goodness. Yeah. So, like, I have developed certain skills that I've been able to maintain. That's uh, that's mm. the other thing that I've not been able to do with with games in the past is learning a skill, getting good at it by the end of the game, finishing the game, then coming back to replay, and ha sucking up that skill again. Where did you go? I'm in the sniffers. Oh, you're up there on the sniffers. Ah, oh, nice. I'm going to... I'm going to run over to the... Um... You can barely hear me, but Stormy is loud. That's really strange. I wonder what that's What's about. can barely hear me. I wonder if my mic is not working. Mic check for me. I can turn myself up. 
Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you. I will move my microphone a little bit. Well, I can hear you just fine. That's really strange. As long as, as long as Stormy's loud. Um, let me check the, let me check the uh, stream a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do a thing. Wee. We're going to mute this out. Um, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do a thing. Okay. Wee. Okay, I think my mic is just a little We're awkward. We're going to uh, mute this out. Um, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do a thing. Okay. Wee. Okay, I think my mic is just a little We're awkward. We're going to uh, mute this out. Um, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna do a thing. Oh wow, that got caught in a loop in a bad way. Well, we're back. All right, that should be the best I can brew right now. But that should be okay. I'm glad you can hear Stormy though, because I usually have a problem with my video balance. It's dark, and there's no monsters. We're very lucky to be us. I kind of figured we would have something over here trying to harass us, you know? This is on. Dendrite's on. Should go see how Dendrite's doing. Hey, Dendrite. What you do? Oh, hey, look. This is what happens when you wish evil upon yourself. Um, you get it. It's amazing. Um, I told you. Do not pray to the gods of war, for they respond in kind very quickly. Now I'm nervous. Okay, I shouldn't be. You see the art of the spiel? Spear. Spiel. Spear. Spear. Ah! Oh, yeah. oh, good grief. You completely trolled me. It's, no, no, don't. Don't. Bad. I gotta go get my spear before it despawns. You derp. There we go. Can I get a creeper head or something? Uh, okay, so if I was my spear, and I was just thrown... Ah, I would see, have a hitbox. Hit box. Aha! Aha! Creepers... I don't know how many they, they spawn in. Because this isn't vanilla, so we probably didn't put them in groups of four like they normally spawn. See, that's the funny thing. is Allegedly, in vanilla, they spawn in groups of four, but that's not... Turn that off. That's not necessarily the case, and I, I've always seen this one in groups of three. Like, I've never, I almost never see four spawn. It's like the universal... I thought three was the rule. Three has never been the rule. It's always, like, one to... It's an, it attempts to spawn four of them, but it's always been three. I think I told you that through my own, like, study, through my own, like, testing. But I think it's like whenever it tries to spawn four, one of them always fails to spawn for some reason. It might actually be a bug they don't know about. Because, like, I don't think it's just that it attempts to spawn them and you get less because. Because it doesn't generally spawn two very often. Or one or two. It generally just spawns like one creeper or three creepers. There's something weird about the statistics. Well, maybe the one creeper that you're seeing is actually three. Is, or is part of the four. Hmm. Interesting theory. I don't know. The problem is I don't know of, of a vanilla way to actually say, hey, run the spawn mobs algorithm. Like, you just don't do that. You can go into super flat, and you're not going to find four creepers spawning. Like, I tell ya. I tell ya. Till you would. Um, I seriously think that there's something up. This is one of those things is Mojang finds out they have a bug in Minecraft that's existed for, like, always and always. Mm-hmm. And after, like, many years, um, this has happened with, like, nether portals. There's been, like, long-existing bugs that they just flew under the radar. And I bet, especially with some of the weird things I've seen in creating custom spawn probability distributions, that you go through it and you're like, no, wait a minute. This says it's going to attempt to fall, 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 spawn X number of things, and then it just never does. So, my like, actual spawn algorithm system might be just plain broken. 
Whee! I love bamboo. You never did answer dendrite. Just wandering. Might visit. Aww. One. Woo! I hear voices. Two. Voices I don't know. Who is that? This is your consciousness. Ooh. You're my conscience. <laughs> Hey, Conscience, do you see a light? <laughs> I love finding you all. Sushi, though? You're not in the voice chat. Ah, there he is! Sneaking around. How are you doing? I'm fine. Anything big happening over on Purple Team? Um, I wouldn't really know. I've been away for a bit. That happens. Yeah. I know. So, like, lately, Blue Team has been super active, and so I'm curious to see what they're up to. Um, I am scheming right now to try to do a lot of building on our base, but uh, that requires a lot of bamboo, so I'm going through and I'm taking a bit of our wall. I'm going to eat some of it and then replace it. Then? So yeah, yep. That's the cool thing. Well, you only need one layer of bamboo, then they mobs can't get through it. I guess we just kind of did three layers because just makes us feel better Aesthetic. about ourselves. Yeah, you sleep better at night when you get more layers. But um. I wish I could sleep. <laughs> don't we all? Well, the next one we should be able to. More busy than building an actual wall. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things we're thinking about trying to do is like if you we want to do mummies and I think they like if we don't kill them correctly, we like mark them and like at a certain point we'll just respawn them. They'll just keep coming back and so you end up with more and more of them. So that'd be funny. Um we'll see. That was an idea that was bad about. We don't really want the next eon to be combat focused, because this one is just everything is trying to kill you. We're going to make different challenges. But uh got a lot to do this week. Um, if people, if people are interested, um, we are going to be open up, or well, they technically applications are open right now, but we're going to be actually grabbing people and pulling them in probably in the next week or two. They want us to, I want us to say next week we're open to do like a finale week, and next weekend we want to do get everybody on, play mini games together, and then we'll just start opening the floodgates to the new people. So that'll be fun. Yeah. I won't be here next weekend, but... Eh. That's fine. Life gets busy. Yeah. So what of yeah. uh... So how's it been for you so far? What are your thoughts on, like, what's been the funnest part? What do you want to see more of? Um, honestly, I kind of like the whole everything's trying to kill me thing. <laughs> it makes things more interesting, but, um... Understandable if there are other challenges. Well, put it this way. Something else will be trying to kill you. I think what we want to do is we want to kind of go for like an Ark Survival Evolved type of thing in the next Eon. We kind of want the weather and just the heat and the cold and the. It's going to be weather based phenomena. And oh, great, you planted crops for food, but it all got blown away by the floods. So, like, it's going to be that kind of vibe instead. So, it's us versus nature instead of us versus spiders. <laughs> Spiders, yes. The spiders, yeah. I mean, I would say creepers, but we kind of have a hang on those. It's always the cave spiders to take us down. Somebody gets poisoned, brought all the way down to hell, and they just get melee attacked by a, by a spider, and that's it. Or fall off of something. Hmm. Oh, well. Do you want to go with us to look at blue base? I've... Seen, yeah, sure, right. I've seen, I've seen Pain and Burple on a lot lately, and I'm curious what they're up to. There's something going on over there. Um, By the way, I have, this is the first time I've left uh, Purple Base in like the past two weeks. You guys have like two safe roads out now, so that should make it easier. 
Yeah, you got is. that bridge. Your bridge looks really good. The one that gives us respect to spawn. It seems like a couple people worked on it. Maybe Umi. Uh, yeah. I, so. I like how Pain has just been over here. I, maybe it's Toby, but they've just casually been building. I don't no, no. Call them it's Pain. Eyesores, but like good riddance <laughs> children. Like, they're just they're creative. He's He's promised yeah. that he won't do it in the next eon. Crafting tables. Well, I appreciate that because I'm trying to build a certain vibe here, and it's not that I hate it. It's that I'm like I'm gonna stick to this kind of like Gilligan's Isle feel, and we're gonna try and build everything out of bamboo. And then we have 9/11 over there, and the Statue of Liberty, and now we have giant crafting tables. I mean, which, in some weird sense, it's like he summoned Sethling out of existence, which I can't hate him for. <laughs> have you seen Sethling's latest videos? Or, like, oh, yeah, he's, been, like he's been posting stuff on Twitter. He built an entire physics engine in a data pack. As in, like, he built some cubes that, like, bounce around like, like a fluid or like a solid, where you can kind of knock them around. Like a whole, like, serious physics engine for these blocks he created. A block that you can pick up and knock about. Like you could grab a bunch of them and like shake them or knock them through like a Plinko machine. Really weird! But anyway, an entire like physics engine. It's the only way to describe it. He's going to be coming out with like a data pack, maybe a video soon. And um, everyone's just like, he's back! It's been so many years. It's been so many years. I have Actually, never seen. I've heard a bit about Seth Bling. I've never seen one of his videos. Ah, uh, I don't know how well they well, aged, but he was one of the founders of a lot of the redstone stuff we have today. Oh, he really kind of oh, led the way. This? this is a creeper hole in the middle what of the done? road. Uh, what is some? I don't know. Somebody didn't patch in the creeper hole. This is. If you haven't been here, this is the Crillage, and this is the Creekin. And I don't know what that is. It's a rumbus. Obviously. I, I don't know what came first, but I'm assuming Stone Cringe has been here for a long time. But, uh, that's what they call it. It's amazing, isn't it? Now you're getting... Welcome to the enigma that is pain. <laughs> it, it is just... It's a monstrosity, honestly. It, it, it's a... Well put together monstrosity, but that is still a monstrosity. You're not you're just gonna pass it by the uh the god of crafting tables? The god yeah. of crafting table Oh I heard about this. Oh he built like a little altar to pray to it to and everything. This is so unsettling. <laughs> is this that a is a throne. throne? Or is this Yes. This feels like a Oh dear deity of crafting tables, please send us recipes. Thank you. Um, Die. Oh, great. Please do not anger the, the not gods of... Back. I was going to say, please do not anger the gods of, of recipes. We already don't have enough. What do we offer him in order to give him get him to give us good things? Mm, wood, but I'm keeping I'll, away. I'll give him my only spider eye, my most valuable, precious item. I will give him 55 bamboo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I guess you could also take it. Oh, exactly. <laughs> we seriously need like a lava pit here. I will bug Payne and see if he could do that. Um, yeah, Tyrant in chat. Yeah, um, Sethling is kind of back. Yeah, pull up his Twitter. He's insane. What was it? 55. I will not steal the... Please. I will just leave the spider right here. We're gonna have to make a place for them to... Like a lava to throw them in. But like, yeah. Maybe we'll get some good items in, in the next Eon. We'll see. Yeah. It's raining. I should pull that up when we're not... When we're in a safe place, I guess. And see if I can show what Settling has been up to. I actually have a, um... Oh, hey, it's Merkle! It's my green evil twin. I wish I had one of those. So my skin actually had that as the head when I created this account many years ago. What you been building, Merkle? If something tells me you're way ahead of us. 
This is gorgeous. Like, you've got the curvature going on and, like, a gradient underneath it. I wish I had that kind of time. Why are there so many chickens? Look at all those chickens! And it's a stable. Wow, was the frame rate drop due to the rain or the chickens? The chickens. Always yeah, the chickens. The chickens. <laughs> I, have, I think eight stacks of eggs. This should be a good lifetime supply. You're welcome to join the group if you want. I left it open. Then. That means it'll be so we can be near, so we can talk without it being within proximity. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I don't know, Brooke might be doing something, recording or something, I can't hear him. Normally I can. Oh, the sniffers are gone. Oh, Hi. what did he... Hey, Rickle, how are you doing? Sniffers should not be gone. They might be glitched. They might be glitched? Where's your wall? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we're on the outside. This is a <laughs> building. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. Ignore me. Oh. Oh, parkour. Sorry, me, you love parkour. Ow. You love parkour. I can only do it, apparently, when no one is watching. Well, I won't watch. So, we did this cool thing. Really cool thing. We've got a uh, plug-in for Discord that I highly recommend. There's a plugin you can add. I've seen it go awry and have people abuse it. So you want to be careful with your... It's better for cl more closed Discord communities. But now you can actually talk. See, Dindrate is actually on Discord. And he can actually talk. And I can be like... Salute. And that'll post a Discord emoji. I believe. And that'll post it on Discord. And so it goes back and forth. So you can talk to Discord from Minecraft and vice versa, which is really neat. I'm a fan. See, you did it, Stormy. Told you could do it. In what way are you an oscillate? Uh, oscillating. Oscillating? Ocelot? To, uh, to oscillate is to ocelot. I don't, I don't ocelot. I oscillate a little, though. Oh, there they are. Yeah, for some reason I thought we were on you the inside. You need potatoes. Over there. Potatoes? Mm. What do you need potatoes for? For my pigs. Ooh. Wait. Why do pigs need potatoes? I'm missing something here. They breed off of potatoes. And Pig? their carrots go to the bunnies. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Wait, wait. when was that changed? I don't know if it was ever changed. I think it was just existing. Am I just insane? No, you got like a carrot on a stick. It was always. Are you well, sure? Well, I mean, yeah, they like they like the carrots, but they also like potatoes. I don't know if they like beets. So I'm gonna go try it right now. Wait a they second. They should like beets too. Are you sure? But that seems too free. Uh oh, I heard a boom. Was that lightning or was that a creeper? They seem attracted to the beetroot, but they don't want to eat it. It occurred to me that your wooden places, buildings, could be in danger from lightning. That would not be cool. We've lost yeah, some... it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I lost a little bit of my moss roof right there in the sniffer place. Oh. So pigs will follow players within six blocks using carrots, potatoes, beetroots, or carrots on a stick. And then pigs can be bred using carrots, potatoes, or beetroots. Oh. They don't want to eat. Oh, they just weren't ready. Now they are. I can use the beetroots too. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, I love it. Well, that's kind of cool because it means that. Hey, Raven. Hey, Raven. They just eat the trash. Here and Raven here. My friends. My, well, my fellow developers. I mean, I've got a lot of friends here, but my my fellow devs, my people. Um, I gotta start the. Uh, some of the heavy lifting on uh, the next Eon this week. I've got a lot of development stuff to do. We've been doing a lot of design, but the getting off my butt and putting a prototype together is... I think I just had a hard time figuring out where to get my feet, where to get off on the right foot. And so what I've been doing is... Um, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, as server admin, I'll go and try and pull a copy of the server and see if I can integrate it myself. And so we'll do some integration testing, which is... 
essentially act like we're just launching the new Eon only on my local machine with the things we've added so thus far. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, but your definition of your definition of ugly raven is like mid. You're easily a, you're you're hard to impress. You the stuff that you're pleased with is like jaw droppingly gorgeous, so I'm sure the desert's not that ugly. And we can we can How try can you and make a desert. Uh, that's an interesting question, and I want to see if we can get it up to Raven standard. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to do, but I'm sure we can work something out. Um, maybe it needs to be I flatter. Think you can make a desert look cool, but I don't think you can necessarily make it look like pretty, other than like a sandy landscape, right? Right. Well, I'm thinking we just need to add something to it, and maybe some like dead bushes or something for that. I want to give it that like Sahara fill. Oh, that's what we should do, Raven. Um, let me see if uh, let me see if I can figure out how to get sand dunes worked into Minecraft. If I can figure out how to do a sand dunes in a desert with a noise generation tool, I that would be really nice to make like you'd end up with like ridges, you'd be walking along. Give it that like I'm lost in the desert kind of feel. Hi, Zaro. Welcome, welcome. We're looking at Blue Base and Burkle's amazing stuff, and they're stormy. Hi, sorry. Yeah. I was reading. I was reading the. And then we're gonna build. Wiki page on pigs. <laughs> so. <laughs> we we could add giant sandworms. Um, Kanye says he's gonna go watch Dune too, and um, that's. Somehow I don't think that it's going to be viable to add a giant sandworm to vanilla, but... <laughs> Can we add Zendaya to the to survival? Add what? That'd be nice. Zendaya. What's a Zendaya? Oh, Plasma. I'm sorry. You. I'm an uncultured oh, swine. Oh, Plasma. <laughs> that one's a tough one. She's MJ in the, new, in the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Oh. And she's in Dune. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Wait, She's so someone that everyone Zendaya's loves. that chick, and I was mentally thinking she, she, her name was pronounced Zendaya when I would see it. Is it Zendaya or is it Zendaya? It's Zendaya. So I was just wrong this whole time. This is what happens when you waste your life on Twitter. You're like, oh yeah, I've never said that out aloud, or never heard somebody say it. I'm like, hey, what's a Zendaya? <laughs> <laughs> Today everybody learns that Plasma's an uncultured swine, <laughs> and a boomer in his own right. I uh, I know a lot of things about a lot of things, but like, there's no room in my brain. I'm I'm the meme where it's just like, oh, nice to meet you, Zenday. <laughs> like it just doesn't fit in my brain. You'd be well, my you'd probably one of the people who actually do recognize him. But I was about to say you'd be one of those people who don't, who doesn't recognize Tony Hawk when you meet him in public. Honestly, i apparently a thing. Got, he does have kind of a forgettable face, but like I, every time that comes up, I like <laughs> stare at him and try and remember his face because I don't have a I don't have a brain for faces. I don't store people, I don't put faces and names together very well. I don't know. I think I don't remember who Tony Hawk is. I feel like where he's in front of me. I have a brain for sorting algorithm. Like I, I wouldn't I, know a single like musical artist in front of me. Like I've built. I built decently sized things in Minecraft, like in my head when I'm falling asleep at night. Like I have quite the like spatial capacity, but it comes at the expense of like narrative and and like people capacity. I'm I'm the opposite of a people person to a fault. And I've tried to fix it. I try and stare at someone's face and be like, I'm going to remember your face. And then nope, it doesn't work. I can't visualize people's faces. I can only visualize like abstract concepts and on my mental grid, my br my my brain is graph paper and I can't draw. <laughs> so I can store all kinds of. I can do long division in my head. I can ca <laughs> carry the one and all of that. I like that slime head. It's cute, right there. What slime head? Ah. Yeah, speaking of slime heads, I think I saw a slime over here. I don't think I have a slime head. Uh, I think the slime despawned. Darn it. Yeah. Oh well. Alright, Stormy, shall we get started on our base, maybe? Shall we 
Sure. Attempts to. Ah! What do you want? Who invited you? No, I'm it's an open stream. You did. <laughs> no, I mean the spider. Same answer. I know who you were talking about. They have eight There's, eyes. They gotta watch yeah, something. They gotta fill in the ADHD brains of theirs. <laughs> Is it the eight eyes that does it? <laughs> There's just so many inputs. Like, how do you have? How do you have eight eyes and still be able to see? That is actually a weird question I have about like some animals. It's just like, why are your eyes the way they are? Because like, I can get the tessellated eyes of like insects, but like with spiders, it's just like, why do you need that many? Like having some kind of light detecting patch and being a blind, like some weird sea creatures, I can understand. And having a pair of eyes is fairly normal just to the way geometry works in biology, but once you start getting a certain number of things, it's like, why though? I think it was one of those, like, symmetrical... Like, when God created insects, he's like, I like six. And then somebody's like, well, I like two more, so we're gonna have eight. And he's like, well, I don't like two eyes for eight. So, eight eyes. For eight legs. It's one of the stranger things. It's just like, why do you need why extra... two eyes for six legs? Right. Right, why not six eyes? Like, what's the... What, what exactly mm -hmm. is the program here? We've got a brick house up here. That's new. I did that. Brick. House. <laughs> it's a brick. <laughs> uh, and it's oh, mine, so it fits. <laughs> why does it fit? Because I'm a girl and this song is talking about a girl. Oh, I see. I don't like what you got going. All right, so we wanted to put like houses, I think, right? Am I making sense? Yes. Houses, houses. Block of bamboo. Oh, there we go. There we go. Bamboo planks. All right, it's build time. She's a brick house. Oh. What is that the lyrics? It's been so long. All right, so if I were to build a house, I mean, Toby would love to just live with the creepers and hear them all day. We kind of have this um, walkway going on. I really enjoy it. So we probably would want to do a room with a view, and if I were to... What's our best view? What's our best... What do you think? So we got... I think it depends on who you are. <laughs> Yeah, some people don't really want to look at the creep. Two towers. <laughs> you can see New York City over here. So I was actually, well, I mean, I think Toby actually built the original spiral staircase here, but I kind of built the tower up here as it stands. I built the tower platform around it. I'd like a good view. What can I say? The... Hmm. Maybe I could build over there. I mean, I hate to, because it seems like I keep ever expanding the lateral part of our base and never actually building the, the, the homes. That I, and that was the whole plan today. So over here, there's that tree that's super tall. And I won't get into why. We'll just pretend it's natural. Um, essentially... We had an incident with a certain somebody cleaning the tops of our trees off, and I was like, that looks terrible. We... He was looking for the last fruit he needed. Oh, yeah, because there's no other leaves on the server. It's just like, we, don't, we can't place just leaves. Saying. And so, anyway, maybe I live over to next to it? Yeah, because that's a further, far enough away. It's on the front of our base. I like that plan. Okay. So I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we do. Um, do you want to 
We can start building homes here, Stormy. Where do you? Where would you want to put your house if you were yeah. just building one for you? And I'll put I've got my brick house over here. Yeah, she's already that's got a house. True. What are you that's talking about? That's true. We were just talking about it. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. But my... I wouldn't mind having a walkway over to your house. That would get interesting. Um. Well, if you want to add an upper level, I need more bricks to it. <laughs> So much for staying organic. Um, all right. Maybe I could do a diamond pattern. Let's do that. So I'll put like a... a boop. Put a new 3D print on. Be right back. 3D printing? Burkle does 3D Wait, printing? Are you yeah. that surprised? No, I'm really not that surprised. <laughs> He's already a man after my own heart in other respects. Um, but still, I had no idea. We have a, on my, in my Discord server, we have a channel dedicated to 3D printing. Uh-oh, 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 making friends over here. I've got a spooter. I'm being hunted. I'm being hunted. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. I wish for you to get stuck. I wish for you to get stuck. And I wish for you to perish. And I wish for myself to not perish. I have bone darts. You're dead. If I could aim. I can't aim. There we go. Ah. Wow, I went through so many. My aim is so bad. These are so much better than spears when you have them. They move so fast, man. I love the vine bone darts. The bone darts are one of the coolest things we added. People that I will honestly say the bone darts are the most underrated thing. It's like having a massive pile of spears. There is a I think the one thing we lack is a, is a more sustainable way to get more, but... Oh, you haven't got any bones? I can lend you some bones, Raven, if you get on today. Because I hoard them for this express purpose, and um, I never actually end up using them. But yeah, the bones, I'm a massive fan of the bones. Or the... the maybe we make... I would love to make something like them for the next Eon that's more that is able to be produced in more plentiful supplies. I'm having a hard time finding words today. Um, there's got to be a cleaner way to say that out loud. Um, I like the idea of doing that. Um, I don't know if you guys saw in the Discord server, I've been posting some um, inspiration for future eons. I'm kind of... I kind of want to do additional stuff. Um, I'm not making sense right now. Uh, what I'm trying to say is... I'm thinking maybe we... I don't remember if we had planned on using the gold weapons too, but I'm looking at, like, some Egyptian tombs having some beautiful gold, like, war axes, and I'm just like, I would love to do that. That would be really fun. To make some decorative items. Oh, no, they're absolutely worth it. It's one of those things where people aren't really using it all that much, but that's to their detriment. It's like super underrated. A well-designed thing is its own reward for people who are smart enough to identify its utility. Die! Die. Perish. Perish. Oh, it's, it's YouTube, so I have to say, I'm alive! <laughs> We're not in the first minute of the stream, so I won't get... I'm alive. There we go. Watch me get demonetized because YouTube hates fun. Boop. I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna build this out, and then I'll put like my little. Because I keep wanting to do like the Gilligan's Island type of thing. I kind of want to have like a little tree house that's made out of bamboo. Um, I don't think they had a tree house. I think it was just on the ground. But you get the idea. There we go. Do 
I have string? I do have string. So Fox taught me this. Fox is going to be on today. I was hoping he'd be here for the stream. But Fox taught me that you can go like that, and then your vines are no longer a problem. See, I'm actually going to be conservative with them, but at least for this one. This one, when your vines are in the way, you can be like, boop. Okay, so now they'll never fall down. And so I don't have a... Or in my way. Oh, I... Stormy, can I put in a requ minion qu request for a campfire? Yeah. I love you. Thank you very much. How many? Ooh, good question. There's string down there. Do I value that string more than my life? There's a creeper down there. No, I don't. Um... Thank you, Virgil. He got me some. Oh, hey. Okay, so I think this is thick in here. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. So I want to build. This is the that tree, right? Yeah. So I want to build like a thing that goes up into it. I might just dig a hole there and mark there. I want to do... Oh yeah, uh, adjusting the attack range on it would be nice. I can't wait for that. I have like super long swords. I have no idea how long it's going to be before we can update to, to 1.20.5 or 1.21 because they keep putting out snapshots. And every time they put out a new snapshot, it's just kind of setting back the developers of, uh, of the mods and stuff we use and need and data back formats and it's just... It's not that they're ruining the game, it's that they keep doing things that are going to make it a pain. So, the time until we... The more non-pre-releases we get, the longer it's going to be before we actually get... what we desire. So we'll... It's not, not like they're pushing it back, but it feels that way. So I suppose I should re I can re do the thing I always do, which is reveal my current plans for future videos um, while we build. One of the things I'm thinking of doing that I've joked about, but I'm actually serious, is uh, they've got the new dog armor, right? And they just added different kinds of wolves, which people are in love with. People are loving the wolves. They're absolutely loving them. So, so the thing is, people like variety and they like that kind of thing, but... Our community's not always quite as creative as they could be with it, and I'm not always particularly pleased with my creativity. And they tried to go for different breed, like different types of wolf, which I can understand that. But the problem is, what did they go do with cats? They came up with different kinds of cats. And so we don't have different kinds of dogs. We only have different types of wolves. And so I'm looking at, and like a lot of the breeds of dog that I would, would hope for are not here. And uh, so I was thinking, after seeing some... Um, non-serious posting um, from the typical Twitter types. I believe it was Crafty Master Man, but also Phoenix SC. Some of our, our uh, Minecraft class clowns. I got the idea because they were joking about it being Paw Patrol. I'm like, you know what I should do? I should make a Paw Patrol data pack. I could actually replace the textures of dogs or of wolves with dogs and do the breeds, and then you can mix them with the um, armor. And I might even make it where if you just name tag them the names of characters from Paw Patrol, it gives them like the powers that some of them have or whatever. It'd be hilarious. Like you get fire resistance if you make martial. You get because um, I'm a dad and I have kids who used to be obsessed with Paw Patrol, and I think it would just be really funny to be like, oh. Now you have um, uh, now you have like slow falling because you uh, named your dog Sky and now it's wearing pink um, armor. So, like that'd be funny. You just rename oh, name a dog the dog breed. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. If you can send me a link to that, Raven, that'd be cool. Because that might be I might it might give me something to work with. But uh, that would be, I think it would be fun in lieu of the matting dogs. It would be good in the YouTube meta, which I, I think about that a lot. Even if I'm not necessarily, um, I should put a moss over this. I should be like Stormy and cover it. No, in the meantime. All right, let's build ourselves a house. So what I was thinking is we do like the floor out. Yeah, that's a good view. I like that view. 
nice view here. So we will have, my, so we'll come around here and we'll kind of have this be like the road to Plasma's house. We'll go that and like that. We can go like that. You know what? Hang on a second. So you got this right here. And you come through here. And then, realistically, we should probably. Oh, Stormy, what are you up to? I'm making campfires. I have. A... Okay, thank you. We could always use a few more of those. I don't know if you heard when Burko got me some, but. I'm not in an impressing need, but I could still use a few more. I've only got the two here. Oh, I need some, so we're all good. Alrighty then. That looks fine, actually. Normally I try and keep a consistent flow here, but that looks fine. Okay. Yeah, so now you have like an open walkway that needs to be fixed. I'm getting better at this, at actually being mildly aesthetic in Minecraft. And then, uh, yeah. And then you walk over to my house, which is right here. I'm doing this in my head. You gotta use your imagination. So you kind of walk along. You walk over to here. And then here's my house. My house is right here in my imagination. And we build a little hut that looks like Hi, Stormy. Hey. I'm gonna build a house. Did I tell you that a thousand times? There you go. Uh, for me. Thank you. Mhm. Mm All right. Something's wandering down there in the dark, and it was like faded white. It's not a. Per it's not a person I know. It's not. A Maybe it's just a creeper in the moonlight. That might be what it is. Yeah, so this will be like my doorstep. And you just have like Plasma's doorstep. Um, do I want it to go any further? I don't think so. No, I think that's good. So I think this is where we're going to start building the foundation of the house. And so what we'll do is we'll go like this. Actually, mm, not the threshold of my doorway to be. I want that back, but I don't want to die. Let the threshold of my doorway be like that. Breaks up the flow, and then we'll be like... And we'll be like... Should I do some kind of like archway thing over my door? Archway door. What other... Oh wait, are we able to make bamboo mosaic? Oh, that seems good. That's a crafting table. Do you know, Stormy? Uh, I, I don't... Think so. I'm bad at crafting. Oh, I need a crafting table up here. Let's put. Let's do this. We need a crafting table on the house. We'll put a crafting table in my house right now. We'll put it right here though. Um. So if I were a. Okay. It looks like it's not on the table. Okay, that's fine. We'll have more fun in the next eon. Mm -hmm. No bamboo mosaic. That's fine. I'm going to do a... Uh, we'll just... We'll redecorate it afterward. So this is my door. And this is my... Oh, look. The sun's coming up. That's a really cool view. We might have to put a window on the other side. I kind of want to go across. I don't really want to go... Hmm. Mm. Mm. I have dirt. I have dirt. There we go. All right. Now we're in business. Now we're talking. So I think we want to do that. And then we'll have... Yeah. And it's going to open up. And I'll have this beautiful sunrise. We get to look out over our little thing here village here and like my little house will be here 
So we'll go... But do I have a jar of dirt? Um... <laughs> I have jar of dirt. I have jar of dirt. I have my water here. I keep forgetting to drink it. That's a pro tip for if you're um if you're streaming is keep water on you. And also, if you live in the western U.S. where it is dry as a bone, I grew up in uh, the humidity of the South. And yeah, the humidity of the American South. And uh, there is none of that here. We don't we don't do that here. So we we dry, we dry throat, we clear throat all time. I'm sure people have heard that in, in some of my streams and videos. It's not necessarily people's favorite sound. I'm sure. I need to stop that. Stop clearing my throat loudly. If I had a um, I need like a mute button for my mic that I can just like boop boop. I get the feeling I missed a question, Raven, or misunderstood. You said, guess what's inside it? Are you making a joke about the jar of dirt? I'm thinking there's something funny here that I'm too stupid to process. It's early in the morning here for me, and I'm like, uh... I'm a zombie. Well, that's kind of what the pirate's reference. Yeah. Oh, is that the next thing he says? Yeah, guess what's inside it, yeah. Isn't that like Davy Jones' heart? It's, remind me, it's been so many years since I've seen those movies. I'm a big fan of the first one. No, Davy Jones isn't allowed to be on land between the years, the ten years or whatever. So as long as... The idea was that as long as Jack had some dirt that he carried around with him, then Davy Jones wouldn't be able to touch him. I'm glad I have Stormy here too. Oh, this looks really good. This was starting as like a do a neat entryway, and it's turned into I'm gonna do my whole house this way. Love it when that happens. You get inspired by happenstance. Yeah. So now we've got. So maybe I do some kind of patio thing here. Ah, the two was there. It's fine. I'm excited. So we're going to do that kind of a pirate's theme eventually and on Neons. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh gosh, I fell again. Help, I have fallen and I can't get up. I need life alert. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's already looking like a good view. I think what I might do, what I might do, is I might do the floor structure around like this. And we'll just have like a window, like that. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of thinking that's not quite the view that I want. Uh, let me think about this for a minute. Let me think about this for one minuto. Not minuto. Minuto, I think, is sheep intestine. Minuto is kind of gross. It's a South American thing. Last time I was thinking about Menudo was probably, it's probably something else actually. I'm probably getting it mixed up with something. But um, it, that's actually related to some of the best food I've ever had in my life, which we actually kind of know how to make now, thanks to Stormy's amazing cooking. So yeah, get yourself a wife who's able to just come up with new recipes. Um, she made a copycat of Chick-fil-A recently, which was really good. Um, but I'm speaking specifically about our carne asada tacos. Oh boy. Those are so good. It's basically like Chipotle, but better. Like, imagine being able to make food that's so good, it like, you no longer have a desire to eat fast food. That is the goal. That should be the goal for your cooking, because you got so much sugary garbage in um, fast food. If you can get to that threshold. Like, that's just perfect well there is this okay so story time there was this food truck that became a restaurant in our area called jurassic tacos and oh, gosh, we were going over jurassic there oh, gosh. and so good. So good. eating the same thing because we are creatures of habit 
And so we were eating this carne asada tacos, the two of us. You're eating myself at a house and home. And food? Fast food? Expensive. But it, yeah, it's like it was $40 for the two of us. Like 46 or something like that. And then we also, because our boys are picky eaters, um, we had to feed them. And they wanted like pizza from the place next door because they don't like tacos because they're crazy. But anyway, so we... These are not just any taco, though. Um, anyway, we'll get to that. I have liked carne asada tacos for years, but it requires steak, and we were poor. So. <laughs> the thing is, the economy is so upside down and backwards now, it's not actually that expensive to go and get some steak for cooking if you're not eating out. If you're not eating fast food, right. and you make like a meal a week is... If a meal a week of yours is not fast food, but it is instead buying steak, like, oh man, it's so good. It saves you money. But yeah, so anyway, we made these carne asada tacos, and it's been a staple for the last, like, four weeks. We have we have these once a week. Thanks to the chef here. The most beautiful. Um... But it's nice because our boys will eat it because even though they don't, they won't eat the meat or any other other stuff. Or anything um, good. <laughs> they will eat the tacos. I make the tortillas myself. She does, and they're getting to the point where they're like have the consistency of like ones you would buy at the store, which is hard to get to. And she's she's just done an impressive job with it. She's just a talented cook. So yeah, so that's basically the story. One thing we haven't got down that we tried in the past that we should probably reattempt is trying to make PB and J quality sandwich bread. That would be. We did for a while. Did we ever get that down? That's really hard to get down. Yeah. I was making I was making bread. The problem was I didn't want to. <laughs> so the problem was I didn't want to do the cleanup. <laughs> And it's like a three-hour process, so I would, like, put it off and put it off. And then I would make two loaves, and they would... One would go moldy by the time we got to it. But we were making... We were eating it for, like, lunch and stuff at work. Oh, that's been so many years, I don't even remember. It's almost like before we had kids was another life. You start having a family, and, like, all together, it's like, what, were, what do we do all this year? We didn't do anything. It feels like time was just wasted. I mean, I don't think it necessarily was, but it kind of, you kind of. I mean, we did play enough. League of Legends regularly, so. Shh, don't tell the people that. Oh, you know what people would think of me? They used to call me Pentacoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Raven's gonna give me a hard time about that later, I bet. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll, I'll put it this way. We were not, by the time people made fun of League of Legends, we were on the outs and we were fed up with, with the game and did not play it, weren't going to play it much more. But, um, yeah, that was a, honestly, I think the toxicity of League has its, this is going to be a hot take, kind of has its merits. It's, it's one of those, like, you get all... It gets really intense as a game, and so it's really a like, what's the matter, bro? What's the matter, bro? Salty, bro? And so being able to um, handle the, I don't want to say stress. Stress kind of like overplays it. But um, the psychological impact of aggression and somebody jumping out of the bushes and killing you and just the terrible way that makes you feel. Um, being able to handle that is, uh, I think it has its merits. There's a, it's one of the few, like, mm, I feel like there's a legitimate masculine component to people who can handle that. Normally, you wouldn't associate with sitting around on a computer all day with masculinity, but there is kind of a, because it's tough. It's tough to play games like that and not get angry, and um, that's where a lot of the memes about it come from, but I'm of the opinion that, and maybe I'm alone in this, but. I think there is a value to it. I just d disagreed with the way things were going and um, in a number of things, so we kind of got away from it. 
I love Roller Coaster Tycoon. Is that what you're talking about? Building fake amusement parks? No, actually, she's talking about Planet Coaster. I, don't know, I can let her speak for it, but she. I'll have to show you some. Of, I can show you some of Raven's early videos because holy cow, she built the Forest Temple from Ocarina of Time as a roller coaster. Fun. Oh, you have to go see it. It's crazy. Raven is talented. I mean, she's doing a lot of stuff for eons. She's still talented to this day. Sun's going down. I gotta light up my house that is not yet complete. I haven't established quite how big I wanted to make it. I wanted to kind of give it this curvature. Like that. Um, get me Mr. Grave Spider. So I think we might just call it here. Bye, Burkle. I kind of want... Bugger and a half. What is buggering and a half? See, that's a word that YouTube doesn't have a wrong one problem with. Because YouTube is dumb. They're just like, oh, don't say kill or die. Because it might... I don't know. I really don't know. Or COVID. You're not allowed to say COVID either. Oh, great. I'm going to get that flag on my video. Just like, warning. Ask a medical professional whether your beliefs align with our political views. Woo. Let's see. What's some other things we could talk about that would get this video flagged? Um, the Earth is flat. The Earth is totally flat. Um, Bigfoot is real. Um... The Earth is flat. Bigfoot is real. I don't know how edgy you want me to be. Vaccines cause autism. Um. Oh, uh. Something, something January 6th. I know they have certain political agendas. They, they, they. I'm. I'm a bit centrist in some respects, but, like, man, people get so angry about, other side did thing, and, like, that would be... <laughs> January 6th is my favorite holiday. Um, it's national... something to do with... I'm just, I can pretend it's some kind of donut day and pretend that I'm not talking about what I'm talking about. Uh, oh. Um, what's the opposite of Black Lives Matter? Like... What's something else I can do to make, get myself in trouble with, like, the internet? What's something that makes people on the internet very angry? Um, mm. they, what's, I'm trying to think of the, like, list of Wikipedia articles that, like, YouTube tries to list below your video. Um, Hitler did nothing wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not drop the H-bomb. Gosh. I told you I was going to be edgy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most offensive way they put it? The uh, the Holocaust didn't happen, but it should have. <laughs> that's like the that's like the <laughs> like I've seen people post that on Twitter. They're like they'll post a Twitter poll just out of the blue with no text and be like, "Did happen, should have. Didn't happen, should have. Did happen, shouldn't have. And did happen, should have." Uh, just like post that with no context and everybody knows exactly what's going on here well technically those are not words this is this is an important thing to understand because memes are it, I refer to it as meme magic in certain circles but um, it's important to understand how to make a joke without making a joke in an era of censorship and being afraid to offend people is like if using the word should and have you can offend somebody like you can do that just using those two words just using words that are what are they prepositions I, I don't know my I'm rusty on my parts of speech but they're like not even nouns or adjectives or verbs really they're just kind of parts of speech you can assemble an entire statement out of no words that's a that's a talent that one should consider developing not being afraid of using offensive words, but also learning how to say things that can get a rise out of people without saying anything whatsoever. And just wiggling your eyebrows and being like... <laughs> if you can make somebody mad by wiggling your eyebrows, you've, 
you've mastered being able to make a legitimately good joke. Um, it's important to have a good sense of humor about things. Um, there's an old famous quote. It's something like, um, a man, a man without a sense of humor is like a wagon without springs, jolted by every pebble in the road. That's it. You kind of have to have that about both sides, isn't it? The, uh, I know that we, we make fun of the, uh, the Trump people here, just like, we're gonna build a wall, a big beautiful wall. That was in the last video. Um, no, actually, shit, help her verb. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you probably know better than me, because when I, in my college days, I knew better, but I'm rusty, and I'm more concerned with. I numbers. also don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you probably would have cared. You you had like you were headed for an English degree at one point. I'm yeah. also a professional editor, a semi-professional editor. So, uh, um, you would think I would know these things. I just know what flows. I know what I can fix commas and so forth and like passive language. But I don't. I'm more nitpick on use the correct its. You learn to use a semicolon if you're a long thinker. If your sentences need to be split up, there's clean ways of doing that. And people often like sit there and debate a comma or a period when they are actually speaking two sentences that flow together. And that's what a semicolon is for. And so, misuse of colons, that's another one. My big English pet peeve is um, should have and should of. Should of. Like, I, oh, I, yeah. I say should of. I say should of when I speak. You can get away with a lot when you speak. But Speaking when I see should of or when you see it typed out, those, it's just like please learn the language. Please know your first language, please. It kills me. Oh yeah, it hurts to see. I've made the joke in the past that English the problem with Americans is they only speak 0 0.5 languages. Um, it's a it's a problem, and the education system is getting worse. Um. A lot of the Zoomers don't realize this, but their literacy rates are really declining because they don't read the classics. Um, people had a hard time understanding Shakespeare when I was in high school, and we've come so far. Like People are just not literate. Go read Shakespeare. Like, seriously? Not, not watch the video. Not watch a play or video. Like, actually, go read Shakespeare with, like, find a Cliff Notes version that has a... Or Spark Notes version is what they call it now. But find, find a version that has the... Um, explanation of what all the words mean and expand your vocabulary that's probably the fastest way to do it if you want to be literate in the english language and i mean this in a secular like academic way the fastest way to develop full literacy in the english language is to read the king james version of the bible and sh as much shakespeare as you possibly can um, at least macbeth and romeo and juliet which Full disclosure, I don't think I've ever read Romeo and Juliet, but I'm very familiar with Macbeth and with Hamlet, so I'll be watching stuff and be like, hey, this is like Hamlet. When I was a kid, um, I uh, my mother is, is one of the English people. She's actually a writer, and so she was an editor. I get it from her. But uh, um, I knew some weird things, like the fact that Star Wars is loosely based off of Hamlet. And... Um, so I've developed an eye for that. As is Lion King. But yeah, you'll find that intelligent people have a pattern, which is that they tend to um, they tend to have some experience with that kind of thing. And you don't necessarily have to like go read everything. You don't have to read everything that Shakespeare ever put out. You don't have to. But like you read the classics, Sherlock Holmes. Um, I the one of the great filters in my circles of the internet when people claim that they're educated like readers of good class like of good entertainment and they appreciate the classics I'll always ask like if they've actually read Lord of the Rings or just seen the movies because there's so many people so many people that you know they're quote unquote intelligent but it's just like you haven't read you can't sit here and act like you're one of these like serious people who only reads and consumes the good quality classic media, like the best of, and then be like, oh yeah, you haven't read Lord of the Rings. Like, Get out of here. I will admit, the Lord of the Rings movies are fantastic, but the reason why they're fantastic is because they're moderately faithful to the, uh, 
to the books as as much as a movie can be. A lot is left out, which is why I would highly recommend you to read them. And it's it's a time preference thing. So speaking of time preference, this actually applies to being a YouTuber, and we're like streaming right now. Um, this is. Have you heard that it looks like the U.S. government is probably going to ban TikTok? They're looking at that. Um, there's talk of it. There's a bill that allegedly passed or is going to pass, and apparently the White House is saying they're going to pass the bill. And of of course, in the like election squabbles, people are suddenly in favor of TikTok. And it's like, okay, get out of here. Nobody was in favor of TikTok until there's an election at stake. Stop doing that. That's bad politics. Um, some would say it's good politics, but I think it's dirty politics to be like, oh, I changed my position to try to get the other form of the electorate. I'm like, why can't we just agree on things? If you agree, agree. Don't be disagreeable just to try and get votes. It's 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 dumb. It's it's not a. Some people think it's smart politics to just cause useless fist fights. I yeah, Burko yeah. Biden did say he'd sign it easy, which is bizarre to me, because honestly, I think it would does his administration a disservice. I don't think it's. I think they must because I know that a lot of the current administrations are controlled by a certain. Certain shady characters in our, um, in the political machine, which is why I have a problem with it. And this is why people actually like Trump, is because he's less controlled by the machine. There, at this point, he's so old now, he might as well be. They're kind of both controlled now. So that's not a good thing. Um, so, hello, CIA, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, that's, uh, that's a big problem with our current setup, is it's, People cry about the election being rigged, and then they continue to be like, oh, yeah, I like my member of the two-party system. It's just like you've learned nothing. But uh, I feel like this is one of those things we could unite on, and I feel like it is going to... I think the attempt to ban TikTok is going to bite this administration. I think it's a very bad political decision, even though morally I agree with it entirely. So this is Welcome to Politics, where um, if you want to win, you have to be evil. And um, there's also the uh, there's also the meme of just like tragic the um, the the worst person you know has said something you agree with um, <laughs> that that comes up on both sides <laughs> as a meme now these days. Um, Red and blue are making that joke about um, I was uh, if you've ever seen overly sarcastic productions they did a uh, diatribe recently on uh, the Batman series where they lay out what people like me have always said, which is that um, Batman the Animated Series is the best thing of all time. But anyway, they're making a joke about how, like, the Joker made a valid point. And she's like, no! Bad guys can't be right about things. What have we become? But yeah. Um, but I bring this up, not to be political, but because of time preference. Time preference is really important to understand because... You need to be a creature like the ancients who has an infinite time preference. It's very important to your soul. Uh, Batman Beyond as well, they kind of lump them together. And so we'll consider that the, um, not a compromise, but putting Batman Beyond and the animated series into one bucket. It's kind of the same universe. But uh, I haven't watched enough of Batman Beyond. And now that I've seen that, I have to go watch more of it because I probably would be as big of a fan. But I grew up on the early animated series. Maybe just because I'm a little bit older year-wise, and so I'm I I remember that. But it was oh gosh, it was some of the best. People t tend to think of cartoons as for children, but like some of the stuff is legitimately good. And um, I think this is why there's been the dominance of anime in cult in internet culture, is because the Western media hasn't taken cartoons seriously and made cartoons that an adult would enjoy because they're just like Ooh. there's certain maybe it's gen xers there's certain people in our society who think that animation is for kids they'll appreciate like fine art which is like like fine museum type of art which to the extent that it's actually good is stylized in some manner and not realistic and that's ultimately what animation ends up being is it's a stylized way of doing storytelling that is not necessarily impressionism but um but cartoons i mean political cartoons are, are done the same way with caricatures it's the same kind of same kind of idea i don't trust the spiders won't come through this window 
I mean, for my sanity's sake, I might split this window up. I like doing different window designs, if you can't tell. But let's make this bend upward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't visualize today. We'll curl this up. Beyond made you get up on Saturdays? Yeah, see, that's the thing. If a cartoon is so good that you'll wake up early to watch it, like that, that's your sign that it's, it's one, it is S tier. Um, you know what did that for me was Last Airbender. Avatar Last Airbender. I mean, I don't think they had it at that early of a time slot, but yeah, I would put that much effort. Like, I'd seen every episode faithfully back before TiVo. And Streaming services. Back before it was easy to see things in order. I had seen it all pretty much in order. Uh, that was one of the best shows ever. And um, they still are attempting to make things based on it. They're still attempting to make money off of the franchise, even though they don't have the spirit that was there. And sometimes the sad part is you get the creators involved and some creators don't age well. Um, the uh, It's the JK Rowling problem. Some creators, they just kind of get a little crazy. You're like, okay. Um, this needs this needs something. This looks terrible underneath. Um, we'll worry about that in a minute, though. Do, 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 do. It's cozy. I like it. Um, do we have a stockpile of just moss, Stormy? Like, moss tiles? Not... I mean, we have a few, but like, five or six. I need one. So if you go over by the crafting square... The crafting cube? Crafting. The crafting cube. The... The, the pain The five cube. by five. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this could have been there's like my some moss plant. carpet down there. I'm a dumb. I could have had this be like an indoor plant. That would have been awesome. Mmm. 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 I don't have a piston or anything. Well, poo. Um. I might incorporate this into my build. Uh. Yeah, let's do this. We'll go like. Boop, 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 boop. We'll do something cutesy like that. I would put tiles here. I would put like that there. Yeah, I like that. And then what we'll do is we'll put this here. We'll go like bop, bop, bop. This is going to end up filling my house with vines, isn't it? Cora started out good. I enjoyed the beginning of it, and I kind of like the idea of like the the spirit world or whatever. I swear they killed Cora on purpose. I swear they did. Um, I think there was some really shady stuff going on at Nickelodeon at the time period. Um, personal opinion. And um, they, were, they started moving it to a bizarre time slot. And it's just like, hey, you know that show that we've made that is like one of the best shows of all time that we've ever created. Let's put it at like 11 o'clock at night after all the kids are gone to bed. And what are you doing? What are you doing? But they, they kind of, they kind of killed Gore on purpose. Like they kind of did. They were it's just like, they, um, you, it was almost like they wanted to make horror for adults instead of for kids, which doesn't age well because those of us who enjoyed Avatar at the pace that we aged, we were like early teenagers, and it was still just unreasonable. It was just unreasonably late for... Oh yeah, yeah. It, they basically just killed the show. They are just like, yeah, we're going to put it online. You're like, what? What? They just, it's like they didn't want people to watch the show. They were like, no, don't watch it. I'm like, what, what are you doing? What kind of, what kind of media organization decides that they don't want their audience to watch their show? Like, it seemed malicious. There was something funny going on over there, I'm telling you. I'll, I'll tell you right now, there's something really strange going on over at, at Nickelodeon Universal. There were also some scandals that came out in years around that time that I won't get into. The Batman Beyond conversation. I don't have much to say about it, because I haven't really seen much of it. But if you haven't watched Red and Blue, um, go watch Red and Blue's review of it, because they... Oh gosh, it's Batman's so good. It it it's really great. Um, the problem is I don't have much to say. Um, 
I can kind of give you like the gist of some of the stuff that Red and Blue talked about. I can pretend that I'm quote unquote media literate because I was watching them. There's a bridge up there. Stormy, are you building a bridge over to where my tree is? Yes. <laughs> so I look up and I'm like, I don't remember that being there. <laughs> well, I built it a while ago, but I didn't know where you were building your stuff to, so I stopped building at this point. Wait, did I seriously build where you where it was pointing? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. subconsciously <laughs> You said the tall tree This is the tallest tree You subconsciously built Yeah if you build yeah, like a, build like a... Do you, If you build like a tower on the top of that tree I actually I might come up there with you You're welcome to And Folk And Folk and I have no There we go Lily pad, li or not lily pads. I'm I'm a dumb today. Um, vines. Why hello there? Oh great! You've made a mob spawner over top of my house. Love it. All right. That's a reference to a song that I don't know off the top of my head, isn't it? Ah! I gotta be careful moving sideways. My child is in the room when they are not supposed to be in the room. They know that they're not supposed to be blabbing when we're on stream and distracting me. Go play, bud. He, no, he's saying that his stomach hurts. Oh, so that's kind of the opposite. Oh, I couldn't hear him. Oh, that that's not good. Has he been eating something funny? Because my children do that. Mm, he had pizza for breakfast. The pizza's probably still good. It's fresh. Wait, how did that happen? How did that get placed vertically? That's strange. That's really strange. Okay, well. It is dark up here, my friends. D-A-R-K dark. Boop. I'm actually a fan of living! I'm a fan of living! There we go. Overrated. I almost had 30 levels. Something killed me, and I lost it all. Pain did. Pain killed you. That was the entire last stream. <laughs> was pain killing you? <laughs> did he, or did I just blame it on him? I think we went on an adventure that was... Oh, that's right. We got tangled up in some stuff near spawn. Gosh, that... I wanted my 30 levels. It was just the principle of the thing. It's a, it's not an OCD thing. It's more of a, I want my levels. And his spiders. Yeah. We got caught in a bad spot. I think I was following him, and so I just kind of blamed him, which feels like a legitimate thing to do. Ooh. Totally legitimate. Um... I want this one to feel... See, the other one's, like, square. I want this one to kind of... I'm trying to go for organic forms, which with bamboo is hilarious, because bamboo doesn't super bend. Now I've got, like, background music to Last Airbender stuck in my head. I kid you not. Um, sorry, not sorry. That is one of the best shows ever made in my arrogant opinion. And it doesn't have to go all the way. That's what I'll do, is it doesn't have to go all the way around. We'll do, like, we'll do, like, just a, yeah, yeah. I don't have to do, like, a ring around it. It could just kind of pop out. We'll make this, like, let's see. So you got these two. Then it needs to kind of come out a little bit more. So we'll do this. Mm. I'm going to have to go get more uh, bamboo here in a minute. I still have a bunch. So don't feel like you have to dip down yet. Oh, it's at the level of your house. Interesting. Do you have any plans to make it aesthetic? Are you saying my house isn't aesthetic? <laughs> Now you know, breaking bamboo. We're a bunch of gay men here. It's okay. 
So if I were to build a balcony... <laughs> we joke about secret tunnel all the time. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Secret, 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 secret tunnel! Through the mountain. I think I added that as a... I might add that on my Discord server. Um, as like a pin thing in a meme channel, just to refer to. Secret tunnel. Oh, great. Lovely. A stripped tree here. Oh, that looks nice. Gosh, great. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. I hadn't gotten to that tree to try to fix it. I can make a perfect. Yet, so. I used to be able to do a perfect villager impression, and ever since the village and pillage update, um, I have slowly stopped being able to do a villager impression, and I can only do a pillager one. I can only do the bad. I gone from ah, from like hmm, hmm. I I feel like my voice is low, like suddenly got lower or something. Like I can only do like the. Ah, ah, ah. I can do like the angry villager sound. See, this is the problem with having like, at least when we're quieter and have a smaller chat. Is I look over, and I get secret tunnel stuck in my head. I look over at chat. You know what we should build? We should build on this. We should build a secret tunnel over to like somebody else's base, just so we have the excuse to sing secret tunnel. I mean, we technically have... It's sort of secret. You haven't used it. The back entrance to a blue base. Yeah, but that's like secret sky bridge. That's a lot of digging. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we do secret tunnels in the future. Um, they had secret tunnels. Oh, that would be interesting. We could do, like... Because I was thinking about what is a build that nobody else is doing. And a lot of people are like, Hanging Gardens of Babylon! And I'm like, I want to build the Ishtar Gate. We should see if anybody... I want to say that somebody... I won't name names. I don't want to give spoilers. Was looking at doing, like, a... Like a Moses kind of vibe. And I think it'd be fun to be like, Hey, we should do a... Ancient, like, early Jerusalem, like... Hezekiah's tunnel type of thing. Oh, I thought you. Were <laughs> I thought you were gonna suggest that we do a uh, parting of the Red Sea and do like a glass tunnel. I mean, that would be fun. I would not be against <laughs> it. I don't think he does. I do. I don't know actually i think the thing is the effort i need to put in to get some of that stuff is going to be not as aesthetic and i don't want to do it on stream in short i don't want to do it on stream because uh it's not entertaining you guys would be bored out of your mind you'd be like oh great we're gonna watch plasma walk through or swim through an ocean for an hour we we, we try to avoid torturing toby's not actually here. Don't forget to sell you have it. Toby, the guy who always set off a crafting table chain reaction. That's true. He had like a history with his friends of doing stuff with the crafting tables, and he built this like little cube of crafting tables over there. And it's just like, oh, it's a tradition. It's a thing. And then pain comes along, and we've never been the same since. Um, the. Yeah, the proliferation of crafting tables that's gotten out of hand was honestly at this point we've gone from like toby's fault to like not even toby's fault we've got we're at the point now where it's like toby never asked for this all he wanted was his five by five by five of crafting tables but no Yeah, that's true. We do have the lore. The crafting table deity lore? Yeah, that... That's going to stick around with us. That's going to... Uh... Secret tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> She's not going to let me stop thinking it. Nope. 
I would play it on stream if uh, if I weren't worried about like copyright claiming. I would definitely play it. You know what I should do? I should do like because I'm trying to give this an outer like texture, and I think having I think having these like as like a pillar type of thing is going to be good. And then what we do is we go like that. Uh, yeah, we're going to go like that. Man, yeah, now I really want to play it. YouTube, why do you have to be so cruel? Just let people play copyrighted things. What is your problem? They really need to change the policy there, where they're like, we will, as long as it's below, like, a full minute, then you can play whatever you want. They need to, like, loosen up the rules a little bit, because it's, like, ten seconds. They really just need to be like, we will permit you to do a minute of whatever you want without copyright claiming. That would be s that would be so nice. If YouTube, if you're listening, they're not. They don't listen. They pretend to listen. It's a corporate thing that you do as a corporation. You're like, we value our customer. No, no, you don't care. Um, don't, don't even. You'll just, you'll ban people and you'll not even blink. You, you're underemployed and you have so much AI that's automatically doing things. You have no heart. Um, but anyway, on that happy note, um, secret tunnel. <laughs> Let's prank someone with crafting tables. Comment has resulted in at least two deities so far. I know that we've created the Toby Pantheon. What's the like over? What's like the over deity in D and D that's supposed to represent like the DM? Is it like Owl? Whatever his name is. Like Toby is the deity of deities. Um, he's the. the he's the instead old of a gods. king maker. He, instead of a king maker, he's the god maker. <laughs> yeah. He's the village shaman. He's the he's the uh, village priest who teaches us of the the ways of the gods. Why is the tree raining sticks? Why is the tree raining sticks? That's a. I'm confused. That's normal for leaves to drop sticks. Is. N but not when nobody's up there. Uh oh. Well, it's decaying then. But why? Good question. It just got planted. Did it grow? Yes. That might be why. It grew, and it grew something that didn't fit. That'd be funny if Moeing just had like a bug or something. It's Hero Brian. Scary. Blaming Hero Brian. Did you build a tree in the middle of your. You did. Why are you judging me and my trees? I'm just weirded out, okay? I'm not judging you. You over there with your balding trees. My balding trees? What balding trees? What are you talking about? Oh, wow. I see it. Did he do more? <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna kill... Unalive myself. I can't freaking believe. I'm going to strangle you people. I'm going to commit... Violence. What can I say on YouTube? Not much. <laughs> Pippa Walmart Minecraft, to those of you who know the reference. Um, I cannot freaking believe. I cannot freaking believe it. Stop doing this. We can't replant the leaves. Stop eating my leaves. Go plant your own trees. We have one jungle. Gosh. Plasma, I think those have been like that. I just wasn't able to come over here to fix them. Like, oh, did, I did we just not notice until I built my tower here? Is that it? I never got Probably. a bird's eye view. Okay, well, then maybe it doesn't look so bad from the ground. So, like, I'm... I will pretend I didn't see that for a little bit longer. Maybe we can spearhead an effort to fix it. I've been lamenting the fact that it feels like our jungle is just not as tall as I would like it, despite the fact that it's incredibly tall. I think it was at the beginning. And they trimmed off the top third of it. Uh, 
I was gonna say that, Conyer. I was just thinking that. So, it is possible to grow trees that decay leaves that immediately? It's a vanilla problem. I just, I, it grew, and then I got sticks from it. Okay, so I've got, so now I've got my... Which kind of freaked me out. You know what I should do? I should do. I should do a fake ladder. Uh, Stormy, do you have like a, do you have some bamboo blocks that I can... Yes. Borrow. Let's go find Stormy. I'm up on the bridge. Oh, you're up on the bridge. Now you're up the on bridge the bridge. The bridge to nowhere. The bridge to nowhere. That's an old meme. A bit of an obscure political one. You probably don't even know that meme. The bridge to nowhere. I believe it was 2008. Hi, Mr. B. Mr. B. Did you grow a... Okay. Do you want planks or do you want... Actually, I just need planks. I just need a bunch of planks. Um, if you've got... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I could use a little bit of the blocks of bamboo, but that's what I was going to do. Was That's fine. Thank you. I got another 64 stack of... Save some for yourself. Don't give me all of it. I know. That's why I did. Do you think I can make this jump? I certainly can't make that jump. There's no way. Oh, you're not even going to try? I'll try, but I need to get closer than that. Oh, you know what? I can make this jump. I was going to try and jump all the way to the tree. Um, what I want to do is I want to... Uh... Oh, I need an axe. I need an axe. I'll go down to my house. Next. Hang on, hang on. Oh, never mind. Well. Why are you so helpful? I feel bad. You make me feel guilty. I am a good minion. I don't think people believe me when I say that. I am she a good really minion. I, it get, I feel guilty sometimes. It's just that like you're just giving me all your stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but I have everything unlocked, so I can rebuild things. And I get on more often than you do. So I have, like, most of a stack of gravel. That would take me absolutely no time to get more flint from. So what I'm thinking, let me let clue the audience in on what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is I want to build a road up here. Not a road, but like a ladder, or something that looks visually like a ladder. But that requires... Carving this bit out of the tree. Which I'm okay doing. I'm okay carving a quarter of this out of this tree. But it comes at the cost of... Um, I need some... I want to put the vines back. But in order to put the vines back, I have to acquire the vines. Because if I just break the wood block, they go away. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Because then it'll look like a legitimate laddery type of thing. And especially if I use the bamboo planks. Stormy, I think you're breathing in your mic. Sorry. Let me know if I'm ever doing that, because I can't hear myself. And I still haven't found a permanent... As a somebody who does streams, I haven't found a permanent place for my microphone. Ah, I broke it. That's okay. So, Here, I got another one. So rather than doing something aesthetic that kind of... um. Do you need another one? Another what? Axe. Oh, yeah, that looks more like a ladder. Uh, No, actually, I think I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so that actually looks way better. Um, because if you want it to flow, if I didn't want, if I wanted it to feel like it kind of flowed, what I would do is I would put a, I put the bamboo that goes vertically, but this goes horizontally, and it actually kind of looks like a ladder. So now when I do this, and I go, I was able to get some off the sides. I'm gonna have some spares. There, like that. And so now it actually looks like a ladder, which I feel like is a really good thing. I feel like I did a good job of that. Oh, I do actually need another axe. Oh, here you go. 
You're a miracle worker. I'll tell you that. So now we can go like this. And like, um, what if we left that? I like the idea of just kind of, it's like it went through the tree and we just, we just don't bother that one. So what we'll do is we'll go like this. And I'll go like this. There's a loud car outside my window and I don't know why. Oh yeah. And this will give me some spare vines too. You know, I like this so much. I might create a data pack that does this. The, hey, I would like to cut down vines with axes. I might see if I can't break that, because that kind of irks me that axes can't retrieve vines. That's true. Even if they have silk touch. I have a... When I find something that I firmly believe improves Minecraft, in the spirit of Minecraft, meaning it feels like vanilla mechanics should be different than they are. Um, I tend to make data packs. Um, if you, uh, on my Patreon, something we're going to be adding here. <coughs> Excuse me. I cough so loud, I mute my mic and you can still hear me through hers. But, um, the, uh, something I want to, um, include in the SMB is when we get the, uh, stone cutter. Um, we will have, I call it the woodcutter, but, uh, essentially you'll be able to, uh, cut, um, stay, you'll be able to make stairs out of, uh, the stone cutter with wood, which is like, why would you be able to take a buzzsaw, which is used to cut, what, wood, and be able to cut stone, but not wood? Like, really? Come on, Moying. Come on, Moying. Get with the program. I just wanted to make it more expensive to make wood stairs because of reasons. I think that makes perfect sense. Come on. Have some sense. This will probably fill itself in eventually, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that as it is. Looks really good. So I've got my house. Oh, you know what I need? I need a wall. Oh, lovely. Oh, joy. I wasn't too sure of this window anyway. And now I have a space for... Hmm. I like views too much. I'm kind of cut from the, like, Frank Lloyd Wright kind of cloth. I like to do... You can see I'm already doing vertical windows in, a, in this. That's kind of my... That's kind of my vibe. Kind of my jam. If I had to pick one Minecraft aesthetic, unfortunately, it's that modern. There's so many things you could pick from history. So many things you could be inspired by, but mine is Frank Lloyd Wright, actually. And not just Waterfall. Everybody knows that house. When they think of Frank Lloyd Wright, that's what they think of. But there's so many other ones. He did some, like, deserty looking ones that are really cool. I might actually take inspiration for that, because like, we've talked about... Well, we've kind of talked about doing... Uh, that would be funny to do... Um, like waterfall out of bamboo. If I have time this week to get on and expand, I would love to do like a copy of his most iconic one. I'll have to find the right spot though, because you need it to kind of like overhang a, in a certain place for it to look right. So let's talk about this bizarre, bad looking geometry over here. Let's do. Hmm. For one, this should not be cornered like that, unless it's going to. And what we'll do is we'll... Oh, hi there! Hi there. Hello there. Somebody's hungry for blood. Hello, Dendrite. What are you up to? I am working on a project. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but um, I'll know when it's done. Spoken like a true artist. I love those kinds of projects. <laughs> I was going to say, he's an artist. Oh dear, looks like I lied to the, um... Looks like, looks like I had more than one spider eye. I, I apparently lied to the uh, crafting gods. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Creeper? 
paper. Do either of you know where to procure copious amounts of mud? Uh, ish. Mm. These do not do the damage you would hope, but that's okay. It helps when you don't miss uh, like me. What? I don't know if I know. I think I think there's some spots. Like we have a couple blocks over by our base that I don't know if I want to donate, but there's a couple like splotches here and there that you can find along the coastlines of water. Hmm. So you might be able to think of it like looking for clay. Oh, see our um, biome generation expert over here. She has an authoritative answer. Might at the bottom of Jungle Rivers. That might do it. Yeah, I think so. I'm going There's to more creepers in there, aren't there? I can hear the footsteps. Me of a song from Let Miz. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's that. So we kind of have our little. Oh, it looks really good, actually. Yeah, so we're going to tear these corners off. Because no build like this actually has corners, the perfect corners. In the real world, probably not. Oh, I see. You find some? Yep, I have awesome. a good amount of it. It is far less morally reprehensible than what I did to get my last amount. <laughs> I know that feel. Alright, so I think I want to go like this, kind of, and we'll go like that. And we'll kind of... Do I want to get rid of the leaves? I think I do. We'll go like that. We'll go like... At the rate we're going, I'm getting it with like a basement, which is going to be funny. And the best part is it's already lit up. Because of the campfire. You don't even have to do anything crazy. That just looks way better. Yeah, it looks like I... I don't want to go as far as saying it looks like I know what I'm doing, but it looks better. It looks better. Does that look good, or does that look too pyramid-y? Or is that too... Eh. It's fine. At this point, I'm just nitpicking. I... All right. So I've actually got a house. Oh, I needed to get that moss. You said, Stormy, we had four or five lying about that were, like... Yeah, so it's over Spoilers? by the... Question mark? Yeah. yeah, so I just laid them down, and whoever wants them can grab them. But they're over by the ca crafting cube. Love how the world is our inventory. That's just a thing that we do here. It's just easier. And then I've got some leather here, so let's actually do my item frame setup. So I'll actually have a... So this is going to be... Oh, wow. I forget how much wood you go through trying to make. If I take six, we turn them into sticks. It only makes six. Yeah, so you need a log for every single item frame. There are item frames in item frames on the second floor of the uh, head house. So what's the pull on saddles? I think we're wanting to add craftable saddles in the next age, I think. Yeah. Probably not like horse armor or anything, but saddles at the very least. Um. 
One of the problems I have with game design is it's really hard to ask the audience. Um, or at, because generally if I ask people who are playing, they generally say yes. It's like, hey, should we add a recipe for... Yes. The answer is always yes. There's never like a... I don't think I've ever gotten a no. Out of like 20 or 30 times I've asked somebody like, hey, does this... Would it fit good to make this a craft recipe? I don't think I've ever heard a no. And I'm just like, guys. It is suffering creates hard times create strong men okay <laughs> we gotta it is the challenge that makes it fun um did you find the moss carpet i did do you want to come see my house yeah give me a second give you the grand tour what's that old mtv show um right uh the cribs cribs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, gonna have an episode of MCTV Cribs over here. Okay, where are you? I'm down by the rabbit pit. You'll never guess. Oh, I see you. The yellow name kind of stands out among the uh, the foliage. We got lucky with that as a team. What? What? What kind of performance hit is that? We fixed the lag on the server. Come on. Hiya. Hello there. I'm making this a little bit more us or friendly. Welcome to the Dr. Plasma experience. Alright, so I'm thinking... I'm actually thinking I want to carve this out. Oh, I saw that axe. Yeah, I totally want to carve this out on purpose. I'm. We're going to leave a little slice taken out of this tree. It feels a little claustrophobic still. I'm going to do these two as well. Yeah. So welcome to my house. So I now have a... Gosh, I need like a... There we go. I'm the fireman. Um, there we go. What do you think? I like it. Not too terrible. Home sweet home. This is uneven. Yes. yes. Oh, that doesn't actually look... That doesn't look... Amazing. Um, it needs a little bit more of an offset. Let me, let me think about this. There. There we go. I kind of want it to flow. I want it to be uneven. I want it to have a bit of asymmetry there. But, um, yeah, it was too... If you're going to do that, you have to be either way off, you have to be way centered. You can do a curvature, but if you just screw it up by one block, it looks terrible. It kind of has to have a curve to it. So yeah, I got myself a house. I got myself nice. a house. Um, I'm still tempted to put a block here. It doesn't look as bad as... <sighs> and this is your lookout platform? Yeah. Something like that. Let's put one of these in the middle of my little road here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. I was right. This is this one. I need another. Um, I need another moss. I should have brought another one just in case. But I'm kind of thinking. Kind of thinking I want to overdo this. Kind of do. This actually looks really good. Hang on. There we go. There we go. So maybe what I do is I go like that, and then I go, it's raining. Oh, lovely. I'm kind of temp tempted to like, because I like, I like this. One, two, three. 
Here's what I want to do. I want to put this here. Oops. I got a little excited. Don't worry about one here. If you do that quickly, it'll pop the item back up so you don't lose it. There's a fun Minecraft trick for you. Yeah, and so now we have this, like, pattern. See, this is the creativity I was talking about with the Eon. Oh, is the ring really allowed for you? No. But I've turned down... I've adjusted a lot of my... Uh, Music and sounds. sounds. Weather. I, I love the sound of rain. I love the sound of rain. But let's keep it sane, shall we? Minecraft is one of my pet, one of my audio pet peeves, where the uh, the audio meters are um, linear when they're supposed to be logarithmic. Because the thing is, decimals or decibels are actually on a logarithmic scale, which means that every time you, I think, I, I think it's something like every fifty percent is double the bar or whatever. And so essentially, it means that if you need to turn. Because uh, because it's on a power of 10, it essentially half volume is 10%. Um, cheap systems will do this. If you have a good audio system, so watch this. So if I go into options, we have a loud noise right now, which is the rain. So if I turn the volume down, hang on, we're going to music. So this is full volume. And like half volume is like, like half the decibels is like, Right there. Ish. Like, that's half the decibels. That. This is not half volume. That's not half volume. Like it's not bad, but half volume. Half the audio from between completely silent and very loud is got to be, like, right around there in the 20s somewhere. Like I've turned it down to, like, 60% of what it was. Um, that's a real problem that some things have. Oh, hey, Rishwin. Nice to, nice to, uh, nice to see you. Um, I don't know if we've met, actually. Are you on, are you on a Discord server? If you're not, I'd be welcome to have you. If you want to join our, um, if you want to join, uh, my Discord's vanilla world, you can do that. Um, we've, we're starting to get more people up lately. Um, sorry, I uh, didn't see your um, chat, by the way. I don't know if you're still here. I was obsessing over this. Can I ping him? Can I try to ping him? Let's do this. Uh -huh. See if that keeps my video. It does. It works. Cool, so I can tab away when I'm... There still. There we go. You weren't. Um, that's a fun thing we can do. Is change our resolution on the fly. So Toby asked a question. Toby asked a question. What did he ask? Poll. Oh, he put a poll up. What does your typical breakfast look like for you? And he had the option of cereal, eggs with some sort of breakfast meat. That's off-putting. Uh, waffles and pancakes breakfast or energy tea. drink. Just What's like breakfast? Sausage. I said energy drink. It's not healthy, but like, what should? Well, let me. Let's I don't care. Let's do. Well, let's do this, Stormy. Uh, let's let's rework our. We've been talking about trying to make the house a little bit more ideal. What is your ideal diet? Like, if you could eat anything, you're you're at a like nice fancy hotel and they're selling everything or giving Ooh, I still got, still got it Ow. for breakfast for every meal but let's start with breakfast so you wake up in the morning in your ideal day like let's say ideal day meaning not the humdrum but like you're you have a billion dollars and you're on vacation or whatever tacos every day I'm 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 down, Raven. I'm totally down. <laughs> yeah, but there's a difference between like carne asada tacos and Taco Bell. So you, you, you have to be specific. 
That's true, because not all tacos... It's not just that not all tacos are made equal. Like, there's all kinds of different tacos, and some are barely even meat, and some are the best food alive. This is a common argument I have with my British friends, because they'll, they'll, they tend to make fun of, uh, like, look at this nasty slop. I'm just like, South American beans and rice are S-tier, okay? I don't want to hear it. They're... Better than their baked beans. I know. They're like, you'll put beans on toast. you put baked beans on toast and then whine about South American food. It's just like, don't even. The British still have a complex from World War II. They, st they still want to eat like like the bat like the London Blitz is going on. Like everybody's still on rations. They're still living on London Blitz rations. And it's just like, eat some real food, man. Come on. Give it the program. That's my hot take to Finn British people. Oh, I keep meaning to do this every time I come over to my fish thing. Raven, if you it's not like a one to one ratio or anything, it's actually kinda of bad. But you mentioned that you were using bones for bone meal for growing. If you put magma blocks at the bottom of your lake by your by your base, then you'll get some bone meal. It's a semi viable way to acquire it's a semi-viable way to automatically farm fish. But you get bone meal as well. Which is Carny disc and wasada, fish tacos. Is that your diet, Raven? <laughs> um, to answer your question, I like oatmeal. You like oatmeal? Like that much? To eat it every it day? It would be one of those things where I could have it every day. Wow, really? When I was working, it was one of the things that I had every day. I, um, I bought like the Quaker oats, like the ones that we have in our pantry right now. Um, it's like a pack of thirty, I think, or thirty-six or something. It's got like three different flavors, and that's what I would have. I would use the hot water from the coffee maker at, in the break room. Oh, there's literally and fill up a cup and mix it, and then that would be my breakfast. I'm sitting here trying to figure out where I need to put a light source, and I go underneath, and there actually is a light source down there, which is hilarious. Uh, and we don't even need all that much lighting, so maybe I just put another... Nah. I want to put one. There we go. That's better. The problem is this is on the outside, so it's not safe. Ooh! Uh-oh. What? The, I hear the kids going, the cubs, the kids, gosh. <laughs> the kids. <laughs> the cubs uh, nice saying thing. mom said and arguing. Mom so. said? Oh no, that's never a good sign because it's always one of them. It's They don't tattletale on each other a lot, but they'll do like, but mom said. And you're like, oh no, they're, some, one of them is doing something they're very much not supposed to be doing. We're slow to getting used to that part of parenting. We're tolerating your children's misbehavior. Well, they're parenting. starting to argue more because they have opinions. I don't know where they thought, where they got, where they think they can have opinions, but they have them. So. <sighs> so I could just put these torch flower seeds in my item frame. I need to... That's probably what I should do. Um, we need to acquire... We need to acquire... Um, and some other stuff that I can put on standby. Uh, that I value. Lint. Charcoal. We need a very large quantity of leather. I need to scratch my chin on this for a minute. If I wanted a very large quantity of leather... Um, hoglins. So I just need to find a biome where those spawn frequently. Go visit Raven's base. How much leather is a very large quantity? Because I've got a bit. Um, I want to make a room that's just full of item frames, so probably like a stack or so. There um, is, you're not, I love planes. when you don't listen to me. I listen to you, my mem sometimes. 
when the weather's right. There is, on the second floor of the head house, there is item frames within item frames. There's 16 over here. Really? Yes. Which I said earlier. Okay, maybe I don't listen to you as closely as I ought to. I'm willing to consider that as a possibility. That's much better. That feels better. Mm, oh, it's yeah. not a possibility, it's a reality. One of my things that bugs me is how you slide back and forth when you just touch it on vines. I feel like when you're grabbing the vine... You can't it. Yeah, let's go over see the Statue of Liberty House. It's on the second floor. Okay. Is there a third floor? Yes, but it's not lit up, so don't go up there because you'll just get angry. <laughs> well, now I'm angry. What's funny is um, technically these item frames... Technically, there are not 16 item frames here. There are 32 item frames here. There are, but I didn't know if you wanted to take all of them. Um, I'm going to not be a jerk face to take all of them. I don't actually have a place to put them just yet, but uh, I want to have item storage over here. Yeah, where do these kids get pains? Yeah, but it's a good sign of cognitive development when your kids get your kids get older and they start. What just happened? Did you see that? No. I'm not crazy. What'd you do? Re somebody got to rewind the video. He's hiding. There he is. You see nothing. I see nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'll pretend I see nothing. <laughs> I stared at it for the longest time like... I'm hallucinating things. I almost just like... I almost just walked past it. <laughs> you almost got away with it. <laughs> oh well. There, there will be another time. We need to come up with a prank to prank the crafting table, people. Or pain. I might get a bunch of eggs and like... I shouldn't say I'll stream. I can think of ways to prank him, though. Unique ways. But he's... problem is, he's online so much. I've never been around when he kind of leaves for good. Ba 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 Um... Crafting tables are flammable. That's... Do they don't... I don't know if they actually burn, though. Do they? I imagine they blur, burn like anything else. There we go. Now I have, like, an actual place to store my valuables. I don't use normally very often. Um, you know what I need? I need some more um, custom items. More bone darts. Yeah. I could probably use another bundle, but we, I think they'll become a little bit more. That's what we'll do is we'll make them easier to craft in the next eon because I don't want to rush to, um, what's the word? I don't want to rush to. Uh, chests. No, chests I'm not worried about. I mean, well, we're not. We're gonna try and avoid chests and only do barrels. For the next eon. Because chests are double chests. Like we kind of want to have a yeah. slow growth to your ability to store items. But in the meantime, I don't want to get into shulkers too quickly. I, my original thought for the for the SMP was... Uh, my original thought was I wanted to do um, shulkers the very first Eon just to make it easy for people to do massive builds. But that's kind of occurred to me that like having it kind of grow with time is in the spirit of the SMP more. Um... Yeah, we don't have villagers yet, so it should be a problem. For making bundles easier to craft, we just make custom item that's a rabbit hide underneath, but it doesn't look like a rabbit hide. Um, I was thinking what Raven said, which is just swap it from weather for weather leather. Um, we let's just add another crafting recipe. That's how crafting works. They'll still be able to craft bundles. Items relatively easy to retain. I'm thinking... I 
thinking we want to make it like maybe you make it out of just a very small amount of leather or something. I want to make a proliferation, well, like a power. One of the ways we can do power spikes is just like, oh, that thing that was rare, now you can make lots and lots and lots of it. Rather than just the power spike <laughs> of, hey, we're going to upgrade to the next thing, upgrade to the next thing. So rather than having A, B, C, D, E in the and getting to things very quickly, you can kind of go A, 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 B, 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 C. So you kind of go from like, you can make a thing, but it's hard to make, to you can make a thing and it's easy to make. Which is an interesting question. So since I have Raven Kanye here, um, let me ask you this. What do you think of modifying the barrel recipe to use logs and be expensive to make a barrel? We make it take like, eight logs to make a barrel. Because we really want to chain these recipes. We're, we're trying to make this so that people don't go, oh, and then they just make a million barrels. Because what we don't want, this is one of the weaknesses that Vanilla Minecraft has, is the recipe's expensive. The, like, they, some of the spirit of Minecraft originally that, that Mojang has kind of been abandoning is this idea of the crafting recipe should be shaped like the thing itself. And like you can still kind of try and adhere to that, but it's to the point that they're like, oh, we've got to give a use for half slabs, so we'll make us use half slabs in this recipe. And like, no, 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 no. Um, that's kind of dumb. Um, this is part of the reason why the we're going to modify my stone cutter that does wood cutter, but um, I do think that um, it's better to be able to craft things that are wood of that. But I think if we can try and rearrange how expensive things are, it will be good because. What you don't want is you don't want to be in a situation where you've got, man, I need more bundles. This will be my bundle. This is, this is where I put my bundles. If I had one. <laughs> um, but anyway, one of the things that they don't necessarily do well is the rate at which you're able to produce things. And so people just produce a million chests really easily in vanilla. And I think the fact that it's been a little bit challenging to get bundles has been a good thing because it gives people the, the... It makes you start using your bundles wisely, and it increases the value of the bundle. That which is infinite has no value. That which is not... That which is not earned... What is the, what's the philosophy quote? That which is not earned has no value. Um, and so essentially by doing that, you say, hey, you can have barrels, but you can't just make... I'm going to start my new life in this thing, and now I'm going to have 50,000 barrels. And it's just like, that's ugly. And so if someone just... Right. you just like, oh, I've got enough. You just make a couple chests, and then you don't think about it anymore. And if you want to add meaning to the game, meaning... Um, I'm using... I'm overloading the word meaning here, sorry. I'm using multiple definitions of it. But uh, meaning that if you want to make Minecraft feel meaningful and feel like an experience where you go and you earn things and acquire things. Because, I mean, for example, oh great, I just used mean in a third definition. Um, if In the way that armored frames are so hard to acquire, and they should not be that hard to acquire, I think we want to introduce them very soon. Hint, hint. Um, but uh, one of the, that should stop me from falling. There we go. I'll hang on to my vines. There we go. Doing a Georgia to the jungle here. But uh, in the sense that we do, um, I think one of the things we might consider is if we make things more expensive, it makes people value them. You start thinking, oh, I only have this many, so I need to keep them well organized. I need to make sure I put my most important items in them. And you start, I hate to say it, but it's like you take the game more seriously. And you enjoy Minecraft more when you have that. <laughs> and watch out for that tree. I want to do like a rope bridge kind of feel to that stormy eventually, so it's not just like a. My, that was my first Brendan Fraser movie. Was George of the Jungle. Brendan Fraser. Stormy likes Brendan Fraser. I do. <laughs> But it was. It was that. I can help you try and figure out some curvature to do it. It's going to take some thought. Yeah, we've got secret tunnel. 
Um, you know, for those who have Spotify, I could probably put together a public Spotify playlist of all of the stuff we talk about. That'd be fun. You could. All the songs that get stuck in our head. Oh, no. The Eons SMP playlist. That's what we'll do. And we'll include other people's. I'm sure other stuff has come up. And I'm sure more are going to come up in future Eons. What other jokes have people made that are song related? So there's George of the Jungle. There's Secret Tunnel. It just comes up a lot in Minecraft. What other stuff do we make? What other Unga Bunga music is there? Wasn't there that one with the um, the, the Yoda song? So oh, was... right. The right. bad lip reading. Yes. <laughs> run, 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 jump. I can be a backpack. Oh, backpack. backpack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to find that. After the stream, I will go look on Spotify. I bet they put it on Spotify. That's just an easy way to make money off of it. Eat them up. Stop. Put me down. <laughs> I do have vines. Game storage, please. Yeah, we'll, um... I think we'll be able to make... We'll make... Well, that's I think that complements really well. If we make bundles really easy to make and we make barrels really expensive to make, I feel like that really meshes really well because it'll kind of be like, oh, you're limited in your thing, but you can. I think you can put bundles in chests and so forth, right? You can put them in things. We already have item frames, but yeah, you can put bundles within bundles, but it takes up the space. Oh, it does. It makes sense. No shortcuts, but I think that'll be a good way to give bundles more valuable by saying, oh, we're going to make them more common now, but we're also going to make them... I like coercing... It sounds mean, but I like doing that coercing of the value where you kind of say, I've decided, I've declared these things to be something people value, and I declare these things to be less interesting. It's a good way to kind of shuffle vanilla and give you a new experience. Because, like, how often in vanilla Minecraft does everybody on the server want to get a whole bunch of rabbits and go hunt rabbits and come up with rabbit farms? It's just kind of like a one-off for, like, oh, potions of leaping. Yay. Like, nobody ever really values them and so it gives you an excuse to play vanilla differently which is what we're doing here on the end SSMB. this is kind of the spirit of the thing is let's make the easy things hard and the hard things easy and so it's still minecraft but um one of the things this is one of the things people who get a little burned out on kitchen sink mod packs do in the at least in the old era I come from the old, old school of, like, Feed the Beast stuff and Minecraft, it's like, Dire Wolf 20, and just all the way back into ancient, ancient modded Minecraft. But uh, one of the things that they would do is they'd do these expert modes where they just made some stuff disgustingly hard. I'm not going to be so cruel as to be like, hey, you only get two planks from a... one or two planks from a log now. I'm not going to be that jerk face. I'm not... I don't hate my fellow players, but I do like the idea of hey, saying, hey, you want... Thing. thing is a power spike. We're going to make it a little bit more difficult to uh, obtain large quantities. Because, I mean, look at, the, look at our super smelter here, which is just fire smelter. When do you do that in vanilla? There's no reason for it. It makes no sense to. But if, as soon as you take torches and furnaces away, it starts becoming a really interesting idea. Ow. But yeah, I'm thinking brick house... Oh, that's an interesting question. So if we make barrels more expensive, we can't just put eight logs, because I think when we do add chests, we want to make chests more expensive. So let's revisit that thought. So I originally said, we'll just use eight logs to make a barrel. No, 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 no. Eight logs should make a chest. So a barrel should well, be blank. Well, what if it's six logs and two, um, two half slabs? We could do that. Make barrels require copper. That would that would be cruel and unusual punishment. Um, I don't. Ah. I don't know. Um. 
Unless we wanted to like redo the texture of it. It feels like that's not quite right. Use wood instead of logs? Oh my gosh. Um, that's an interesting idea. What do you what do you guys think of Raven's idea of using the actual wood blocks instead of maybe we use four eight wood blocks in to make chests and we use eight logs to make I like it. I like it. That's that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's funny. A lot of the withers trees are already William Withers. Um that's funny that that's the case. So that might actually make it a little bit easier. Which is good. That's good. But um, I think that's something we should seriously think about. Is uh, maybe we make uh, barrels out of regular wood. And we make... Um, because normally you have to craft wood. The whole rounded wood. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? So we're adding the... Um, we're adding the... Uh, the... Woodcutter and smelter. We should use. We should make it so you have to use the strip log variants to make chests. Because chests don't look like they're made out of raw wood, do they? They kind of look like they're smooth. So we should do. Because, like, a chest texture. Kind of. I can't show you one because we're. The chest texture kind of looks like stripped oak, doesn't it? Doesn't it? What do you think, Raven? Sort of. Well, it's closest. Like, if you were to ask what block it's closest to, it's not got the bark on it and it almost kind of looks like it has the bark on it with the barrel so maybe the barrel is the simple recipe and we use like yeah i kind of like that i think i think i'm gonna play with that i i think i'll go ahead and add that recipe to what i'm working on and we'll play with it because i think making the strip variants into the i think that'd be good strip wood chests yeah, it just feels... Yeah, exactly. It's, like, refined and processed. And um, we won't be getting chests until the third eon. Into, so that's, like, this summer. But uh, that'll be... It just feels better. It just feels better, I think. Um, but uh, then it gives you... Because then there's no more, like, Oh, I just pull out my logs and make 50,000 chests. And it's like, no, you, no, you don't. No, you don't. That's... We... we um, there's... We're too, too much bypassing the, pro the process of playing Minecraft where you're trying to figure out things. Um, essentially what it does... Because people love to have different progression trees. And um, sometimes there's just the crafting progression of you craft this to make this and you craft this to make this. And um, that's something modded Minecraft does really well. And it's not that you make it a pain. It's that there's a system that you have to work through. And so you have to store more different types of things. So like some of the stuff they've added in vanilla has like a aesthetic use and nothing else. It's just the strip stuff is not used for any recipes. And it feels kind of sad. It's just like, but what would you use it for? And I think that's the answer. And so maybe we use that processed wood. We'll call we'll start treating to the strip variants like they're processed. And maybe in the medieval era that'll be what you used for like bookshelves. That'd be fun. That feels like that's a sensible thing to do. Yeah. See that we're we're Coming up, we're vanilla plus plus here. We're making it on the surface. It seems to be harder, but I think we're making it more interesting. We're adding value. We're making blocks that are useless, useful. What were some of the good things we did in this eon? I think one of the cool things was the uh, custom items we added. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember like the process we had for. So I think we wanted to do iron tools in the third, in the third eon, right? Yeah, like with the Greco-Roman. We wanted to go ahead and get to iron there, and maybe we stall it for. We don't bring in diamond tools until the, or diamonds weapons until the fifth and sixth. Yeah, so that means the third and fourth are just going to be iron. Like it, things are not going to get that much. I think in the fourth ones when we get enchantments, and you're able to do a lot more damage from enchantments. So the power spike is wood, which is or rather flint, and then we'll have bronze, and then we'll have iron, and then we'll have iron but enchanted with magic. And then in the fifth one, which is the Renaissance and ships, we do what? 
What's the next power spike after that? After, um... Um... Blunderbusses. Blunderbusses? I mean, a blunderbuss is fun. We can make blunderbusses. So, like, a crossbow, if you wanted to keep it... <laughs> like, the vanilla weaponry. Um, maybe we make some really good... Diamonds unlocked in but six for sure. Pack Absolutely. where it looks... Six is gonna have everything. I guess the open question is, do we want to add diamond stuff? Maybe it's just hard to come by... Or just, oh, they're just treasure in the fifth one. I think, yeah, I think we talked about that. Um, I, we gotta figure out a power spike for the... What's between diamond and enchanted iron? Like, there's not really anything. Um, I, I, there's not a way to add diamond without weapons or tools without people being able to enchant them. I kind of wish we could do that, where it's just like you can't enchant diamond yet, and then you can do it in the next one. But unfortunately... <laughs> There's no way to rework vanilla to avoid that. Um, so shields are already going to be a thing. Um, spoiler alert, we're going to really enhance shields. I'm super excited for that. Um, we'll figure it out. We've got like half a year. I'm pacing now. I'm thinking. Use enchantments four and diamond six. We just do a bunch of crazy custom stuff for the spike. I like that idea. I like that idea. Custom stuff. Custom stuff is fun. I'm a big fan of custom stuff. And so that's the proliferation of... Oh, we could do pre-enchants, Merkel. That's right. We could have custom stuff that just pre-enchants. Oh, oh, I know. Um, Kanye, um, what I'm thinking is our custom stuff, we'll use the item attribute upgrades, and so you'll get certain buffs and things from the... So it'll be like magic -er. we'll be You'll have legendary like pirate treasure of like the magic sword that gives you more hearts. That makes sense. And so we will add a very unique kind of power spike that like the... 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 the um, this, like a sword that gives you an extra heart increases your max health and so we could do something like that and it, maybe they're just loot only and we could probably do mending or something on them so that they don't go away but we can make them a very rare loot drop because in the pirate age I think we want to have buried treasure everywhere and that'll be a thing is we're looting buried treasure and getting stealing each other's pirate horde and so we'll be, have like swords that swords that stay with you and yeah so, so yeah, we do attributes and stuff that... Because essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to take vanilla mechanics, especially ones that are creative mode only, and leverage those. Um, that's going to be heaviest in the last one, though, because in the 60 on, we're getting essentially everything you can do in vanilla Minecraft. We're going to allow all recipes to be unlocked. In the seventh one, we're going to add the forbidden recipes. So, like, you might even be able to craft a dragon egg. Like, you're going to be able to craft extremely forbidden things that, like, should not be crafted. So... <laughs> Um, we might even allow people to craft barrier blocks, and we might make a custom item that allows you to break barrier blocks. How? I mean, if you're going to be doing, um, hey Marazu. Yeah, it's dinner time this time. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it's kind of spoilers. That's like not till this time next year for the seventh eon, but I really want to do that where we add. Oh, you can actually build. You can do stuff in survival that is completely that is extremely cursed and forbidden. And, um, you know, so maybe we make like a special pair of shears or something. There's some special thing that gives it the ability to break barrier blocks, because that is a thing you can configure. Say, hey, this block can break that block, and so we can we can give the option to. You know what else? Um, you know what would be really uh, smart. Um, Raven. So I was talking about making in the last eon in space, we're able to make craftable, um, possibly craftable mob spawners. What if instead we made a loot table change such that when uh, there are certain rare items that you can get in the space age that will allow you to break those spawners and pick them up and move them? Because um, that's what it ultimately you'd want to do is have you could probably just change it do the loot table thing, kind of like when we took the axe here, and we made it so that it drops the... Um, where it'll custom pick up the vines. We could probably do that with the... Uh, I don't know if I want dragon spawn eggs to be a thing. Uh, scale attribute by then? If we, if we could make a tiny dragon model, we'll have to, like... <laughs> this is one of those, like, CC corrupted, like, hey... 
How hard is it to make a dragon model? Make a baby dragon. Oh, you mean, like, if we did, like, a decorative tiny dra dragon, that could be a thing. Wither spawn eggs. Oh, gosh. Do you know the kind of people we play with? <laughs> That's not a good idea. Um. Yes. <laughs> All the fun I could have. Think crafting tables with withers. <laughs> I just, yeah. Um, I would rather not summon the apocalypse by opening that door. I mean, there's playing with green, and there's playing with pain, so. I know. Um, we might... What would be fun is maybe we make a rule where they, we make these spawn eggs and they fail if they're outside of a certain dimension. That might be a thing where we just like delete or force them to fail if they kill a weather if you try and spawn one with them. I think you can detect that. There might be a way to do that. But um, if you create a wither in or non-ordinary circumstances, you make it completely forbidden for it to to be spawned here, only in like outer space. I mean, it'd be funny, too, if, if uh, Withers spawn naturally in our space. I'm just sick and demented like that. Um, we might make a biome where, where Withers can spawn. That's completely demented, but honestly, it's post-Minecraft. The space age is post-Minecraft. Um, it is... I'm going to give... You're going to be, like, freaking deities. It's going to be Star Trek, infinite food, infinite everything. And what do you, what do you give the person who has a, infinite everything and infinite netherite and infinite... Um, enchants. It's just like, oh, what about infinite withers? <laughs> so, um, people are going to be be needing to protect. Because how do you scale a threat? Because ultimately, how do you make something scary to somebody who's basically invincible? It's just like, oh, your space station is in danger from wither aliens attacking you. So like that actually kind of vibed really well with the space age of just like, I must defend my space station from withers. Um, that. And, uh, like, barrier blocks, like, really, if we're going to add barrier blocks that are completely invincible, it's just like, oh, well, I need to go and put in the hard work to craft my force field. Obviously. Well, if you've got to cra craft your um, shields up, oh, put a shield up over your um, your space station so you don't have to worry about the uh, the unmentionables floating around out in the, in the deadly vast of space. Because... We're not going to do, like, you suffocate in darkness or anything, I don't think. We could... we could. I could think about that. We'll think about that. Um, that is... That might actually not be a bad idea. But um, in the meantime, make people take a little bit of damage when they're... It's no different than being, like, underwater. But um, I want to add asteroid fields. We'll see. But um, I'm super excited for some of these future eons. But the challenge is going to be... It's very easy to imagine and be creative with that topic. You just have to... Um, it's going to be more interesting to uh, to have to figure out how to expand the internals of Minecraft, which is why we got to talk about chests. What else? What else is coming up? Um, that's true, Kanye. We have no idea what data packs we gave a by then. We might be able to do a little more. Quick. And um, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. But the key thing, the king spirit of this SMP, um, I mean, the, the civilization vibe is Raven's contribution. And the really cool, like, little data pack things, in addition to the advancement design, is Kanye's contribution. Um, Corrupted's is a lot of the textures. He does a fantastic job. Mine, I'm trying to make it be kind of the analysis and design because i'm good at like analysis stuff and in professional in the professional environment i'm good at tearing something apart figuring out how it works finding problems with things uh testing <laughs> finding bugs um honestly there's so many people here they find bugs more than me but um i'm good at trying to think ahead and try to split things up rearrange things and make them make sense and so one of the things that i'm i want to contribute is like trying to really flesh out our recipe rework Try to really push Minecraft to the limits while still not being modded. Because it's very easy to... Like, that was exciting to push Minecraft when they had mods, but it's truly infinite what you can do. Is the secret room that I put in here still here? Or did they fill that in? Ah, buzzkill. They filled it. <gasps> you okay, Stormy? You're making a scary sound. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention and I walked off the back of my base. I'm okay. I would not recommend you do that. I really wouldn't. I didn't die, though. So, you know, progress. Oh, that's nice. 
I think I'm gonna kill some chickens. I'm running out of food. Our beloved pain was nice enough to leave some chicken and spawn. He like dies on purpose to leave gravestones that other people can steal his gravestone. Very nice of him. Oh, that's right. We keep the eggs down here now. What's funny is it doesn't pull all them down, which results in it actually storing more before they despawn. So the piles of eggs. So that's actually really cool. Let's... Ah, uh, fudge. Oh. oh, no. That hurts. Hey, look, free food. You're, um... We've got four fish over here from the... I'm going to have to eat this fish before we're done here. I'm not going to make it home without it. I want to go see if Payne left those at spawn still. He did. I know. Do you want me to pick it up while I'm over here? Oh, that's right. Ha! You took a trip. Um. Mr. Piggy! Mr. Piggy? Hi. How's Mr. Piggy doing? He's still here. Just picking along. Mm -hmm. I love Mr. Piggy. We made Mr. Piggy a house. He just kind of lives at spawn, and it's kind of his vibe. He just kind of chills there, and he's been there for the longest time. So we were like, you know what, Mr. Piggy, we're gonna build you. We're gonna make this your house, since he kind of hugged the house. Sethling uploaded a video. Oh gosh. Oh, you're killing me. I got so much stuff I gotta do today that's Minecraft related. Um, normally I only go to about an hour ago, actually. So we will go check on Mr. Piggy. Stormy's burning herself on fire. Oh. 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 No, it broke! Okay, well at least I got the one. Yay, another spider eye. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Ocelot. Another one? Another one? <laughs> Sidestep. That's the trip to fighting spiders. You gotta learn how to strafe. They can't walk sideways. They don't turn very well. They get angry and they lunge after you. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. You need some, like, lighting in here. You need, like, a... You need something to do. What do you put at the end of a large staircase? What do you put at the end of a large staircase? Wherever the staircase was headed, I suppose. A pot of gold? That's a rainbow. Eh. Right now oh, the boy. staircase is just going up. <laughs> watch this, watch this. Watch him, watch him. You right? You right? Boom. Bonk. No! no! Okay, well, I'm disarmed. We'll make Piggy uh, something to play on. Oh! Oh, shh! I didn't even see you. I'm being hunted. No. No, you don't. Actually, I have damage on my side. That's what I was afraid of. The vines are not going to let him fly back far enough. I'm going to have to kill him barehanded. Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I have, 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 I have. Run, 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 run. Okay. Bone darts. Ah! Get wrecked, son. Oh, they're not finished yet. I could have sworn they were finished. Yeah, so Purple Base has got this new road they're putting in. Is that the moon shining through the trees? That's the sun shining through the, through the rain. That's kind of a bug would be a cell. I should probably fix that. If it's raining and it's cloudy like this, you should not get... They're called god rays. But the sun is not present. No, we're still getting god rays here. I can't believe Sethling uploaded. My favorite redstone YouTuber turned Datapack YouTuber, turned by Minecraft and by Mario now. 
has made another data pack. We just gotta get him to play with redstone some more. Come to the redstone side, Seth Bling. Come back. Do a mumbo collab or something. I did make it back home without any issue. I hear spiders. Food. 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 Yep, the dark room up there is a freaking mob spawner. Food supply. Oh, so for those, did we did we talk about the physics engine that Seth Bling built? That's why we're all so excited that he's back. I don't know if we did. Yeah, he built an entire physics so. engine in Minecraft. I'm losing my mind. I, I can't. You're losing your mind. We did talk about this. <laughs> Never have I heard someone obsess over a YouTuber's single upload this much. You'd have you'd have to be there from way back, back when. Welcome back, Seth. Went here, you'd have to be back there in the day. He was the guy. Imagine if like Green and Mumbo just disappeared for four years, and then one day they just came back. Like everyone would have a conniption. Like it's just like what they're playing Minecraft again. Like the the thing is, he's been kind of hyping it up because he has been back at it, but he's been doing it in. He's been posting on Twitter instead. I love the vibe you got going on here, Stormy. This is cozy. Thanks. Also, where's my food? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was here because I like you. Um, you didn't add you... sandwich. You didn't add bread to this, Eon. So make your own sandwich. Can I have some of the chicken, please? I didn't take any of it. I thought you said... But here, have you some said, fish. But that was literally... You kept going back to spawn. I thought... Okay. I confirmed that it was still there. I never said that I picked it up. I oh. left it specifically because... <laughs> specifically because... I wondered why you just walked you right past me. You're just like, oh, he's going to get it, so I don't have to. I mean, our inventory space is limited, so I get it. All right. Let's go on a deadly adventure for no reason. I thought you had like a whole 64 stack of chicken. Mm-mm. Well, fine. Why didn't I? <laughs> I love the bone darts. I need a bone supply. I gotta get... I think getting the leather is gonna get me some maybe meat and maybe bones. Ugh, those are great, though. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan. Whee! Oh, he's back. Spiders. Alright, we'll go back to spawn. I kind of want to do, uh, oh, I love that. The fires spawn further away than the blocks. Because they're, the particles are kind of entity-like. And if you get these, like, it looks like fireworks. Oh. Uh, personal rule. Um, always eat the thing you have the least of first. Because it will open up an inventory slot sooner. It's the snowball effect. Actually, a good way to um, pay off your debts too. If you're like trying to improve your finances, random finance tip of the day: pay off your debts the small, uh, pay off the um, smallest debt first, and you can roll that money into the next one. Um, that's a good life pro strat. All right, let's see if we tempt fate by going back through the spiders and creepers that apparently have taken over my road. Oh, that's going to blow up. Hmm. 
appears it's just a, a little laggy. I am happy. You're happy? I'm a happy dog. I'm happy, happy. I'm running out of weapons. And now there we go. Drowning on land. Okay then. Don't drown. Why is it so dark here? Hang on. It was never this dark here. It was never this dark here. I think somebody torched a light source. There we go. I think somebody blew, blew it up and filled it back in. I don't think that tree was there. That you just put that fire next to? Are you? If you look at oh, I thought you were with me. I'm like, I was going to be mad. I'm just like, why didn't you go get the food if you're coming back? Right. No, I'm still up in the tree. So, because pain loves us very much, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed if this is... It is more than one stack. Pain! You monster! What have you done? <laughs> My inventory is full of chicken now! He said it was three or four stacks! I don't... Hey, Stormy, you've got to take some of this chicken off my hands, I beg you. I will take some of it off your hands. Hang on, I, w I want to see what he said. <laughs> it's like 12, 12 stacks. stacks. And I don't want to die repeatedly to, <laughs> to put it into... Oh gosh, I'm being hunted. Maybe he wants some. Do we have an empty bundle? It would not... Uh... Yes. Do I have another empty bundle? I had, at one point I had like three three bundles. I don't know what I did with them. I have a secret stash. Let's put away for now. But I don't think that's... I don't think that's... um. The bundle I have is almost full. Yeah, if we have... If you can put a stack in a bundle, that would be a good... That'd be good for everybody involved. Otherwise, I'm just going to start sticking chicken to things. <laughs> Gosh. I can't believe... I love pain, but he's just that kind of chaotic good. Where he's just like, I'm going to give you too much of a good thing. Um, it's actually one of the most charming things about him. But, uh... He can blow your chickens with them as well. Like, this is going to do wonders for people, but... For example, we've got this here. I'm just going to have to embrace my inner pain. There we go. There we go. The next person to need to do something with heads is now chickenified. Like, that doesn't even make a dent in it. Okay. Do you have that empty bundle? Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, or are you, It's not the one I just put chicken in, is it? No. Good. Okay, so we're gonna put a half a stack half in a stack. the rabbit in the rabbit foot one. I'm just gonna start leaving chicken everywhere. I'm going to be the chaotic Okay, so I'm gonna put a stack of chicken in this. And this will be the public backup food supply. And I will right now I'll make an item frame for There we go. You know what? I could probably use some chicken right about now. Oh, yeah, if you're in the neighborhood, I can offer you as many stacks as you would like. Um, well, where are you? I'm at my base. Okay, then. I will be there in approximately 24 seconds. That's oddly specific. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the... We'll call this the food pillar. I'm going to put an item frame here. I'm going to put a stack of chicken in it. Uh, at least two stacks. Take at least two stacks. Oh. And Stormy, if you want you some. cooked it. Oh, it was already cooked. That's yeah. the thing. I just... I know. I, I had... even better. I wasn't ready for 12 stacks of chicken. Um, I was just like, oh gosh. Um... When you hit the reacts, it like puts a little heart up, and it like flows up, upward, and so like the heart thing just kind of wiggles. There was another emac. Oh, interesting. Um, let me 
see if I can. I will show you what it looks like actually on stream. My children are having fun. All right, uh, How let's switch over to they? desktop mode. My camera's going to probably flicker a little bit. I'm going to grab the stream and I'm going to pull it over. So now you should be seeing us. Give it a second. There's a little bit of delay. Yeah, so there you go. So now you can actually see chat in window. So this is what we got going on. So yeah, whenever you hit those, I guess I can do them too. But yeah, it does that. Little warp bubbles. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, back to Minecraft, Minecraft. Uh, don't pull up Discord. Anyway. He says free food, about five or six stacks of cooked chicken. It was, it was five or six pairs of stacks, if you're... Did he die on accident? I thought he died on purpose. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking no. we should take a bundle over there for. We probably don't have any more bundles, and you're probably not gonna let me kill the rabbits, are you? Um, you can kill the rabbits. I've been breeding them. Ah. Oh. I don't have anything to do sadly. Um, if I get lucky and get enough to make another bundle. You, you don't happen to have any rabbit hide on you already, do you? Any rabbit leather? No. Um. Uh, zero. Come back here. Come back here! Don't stand in there! One. One. Count it. One rabbit hide. It's six I need, right? Yep. Two rabbit hide. I really don't want to kill all these rabbits. So they better sh put up. Three rabbit hide. Excellent. Ready? 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 I missed! How do you swing at a whole bunch of rabbits and miss? Still three rabbit hide. Four rabbit hide. Oh, this is working out perfectly. I don't have to waste them at all. I don't want to kill too many of them. But I think I'm going to make it. The five. All right. Just one more and we'll stop. Six. All right. No more slaying rabbits. We want to keep as many as we can. So. Wait a minute. What's the recipe? You need two string as well. Oh, you need two string. That's what it is. So it's kind of like a drawstring bag. Uh, yeah. it, I can't craft it. Why can't I craft it? Did you not open... You may not have... Opened the recipe yet. That's so sad. I've got to fix my recipes immediately. Click the recipe. Wait, what? Oh, I'm just dumb, I guess. It, in the recipe book. I forget advancements exist, okay? I'm... A old Minecrafter. I'm a very, very old Minecrafter. Back in my day, we had to use So wikis. am I, but I like it. I like advancements. I probably should have checked. Um. <laughs> I mean, that's how I found out that I oh, could craft they the on crafting the... table first. Are they on the corners or something? Yeah. I'm just dumb. Plasma's dumb. Okay, so now we need to do... I'm going to do this the proper way. So we're going to take a log. Actually, we're going to take the logs we have less of so we get rid of them faster. We're going to make some sticks. Run, run, run. There we go. All right, I'm going to go make this a gift to somebody who dies. So yeah, we really built we really built out our base. I think I think it's nice to kind of, we we kind of got it finished to have a house there. I think it looks really good. Oh yeah, I love that. That looks so good. I like a double decker road. 
Yeah. We'll polish it and give it a little bit more form before the finale next week. Next week will be the finale for this Eon. We'll do some mini games with people. I will probably do like a sign up or try to find a time. We'll do like a couple tournaments. And um, I will. Um, I can't wait for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we'll do some like parkour stuff. Invite some newbies to join. Um, I think we want to do that the week after. The, the week after. We are going to, yeah. Because we kind of want it to be our last week to ourselves before we start bringing in new people. But it's going to be, we'll call it the last week you, you have to yourself before we start bringing in question marks and start possibly rearranging the teams. The, week, the 22nd is going to be... Um, yeah, so Burko's got somebody to join. I've got somebody that I might be bringing in. Payne's got somebody he might be bringing in. Stormy's got somebody she might be bringing in. Toby has somebody. Toby has somebody. So we're going to be good. And then there's people that signed up that we didn't have slots for. So those of you who... Um, if anybody applied, I don't know, Tyrant, if you, I'm going to end up dying because I'm not looking where I'm going. Um, I don't know if he's still here. He... Um, he was earlier in the stream. Um, there's some people who are on. Join our public Discord. Um, it's, it should be in the description. But uh, join our public Discord, and um, we're going to be pulling people in. We've got a lot of slots to fill. We're um, going to be adding new teams. So because of that, we're back down on the number of people we need considerably. And I'm excited for that. We're gonna be, our server's going to be getting more and more active. All right. So I want to put... A totem of, so you died, and we will put it. What did Green call them? The the death chest or whatever they were. Something from like Hermitcraft season seven and eight. Uh, I want it to be prominent. We'll call this the. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is what we'll do is we'll go like. Boy, this is hard to break. Did you die boxes? That's right. So, you died. Did you die boxes? Yeah. Hey, Rushwin, you're back. Um, I didn't know if you were here. I can't see how many people are. So this is going to be the Pillar of... I don't have a name for it. But this is the Did You Die pillar. Yeah, I'm out of room. I have no room in my... Alright, so... Put that there. Put that there. Because we love each other. Because... Friends... There we go. Yeah! Oh, that'd be awesome. Merkel. And in the meantime, I have to figure out what to do with all this chicken. I am actually kind of full on things I should probably go put elsewhere. Maybe I can dump another stack of chicken on Stormy and Dendrite. Um, I can take another. I was going to say, I, I've got to get... I'm a mess right now. I've still got three and a half stacks. I, don't, I would rather not carry more than a stack at a time, but I'll tolerate carrying a stack and a half, or more than a stack, but... I've got rabbit heads and a flower. And I don't even know where I got the flower, and I'm just out of room. Drop the rabbit. Drop any heads you have at the head house. All right, I'll drop them at the head house. What else do I have? Oh, flint. Oh, there's a bunch of crafting. Feel tables free to mix road. to mix up the head house as much as you want. Toby loves that. Gosh, you hate Toby so much. <laughs> <laughs> unrepentant about your vicious disorganizing of his stuff. I actually never touched the heads. Stormy is an innocent little angel until she met Toby, and she just likes to torture him. I I give what I can take. And when you put your ire out to 
out there for everybody to know about. You can't resist. Look at that beautiful sunrise slash set. Sunset. Um. Oh, it's on my head. Nah. What we need is to get more species of rabbit. That'd be cool. Um, what if I started barricading people in? Made it so that you can't get in because of the rabbit heads. I bet he'd like that, right? Oh, yeah. You get another rabbit head? I do not. Take That's one from okay. the wall. I'll take a sniffer head. There, now you can't. Oh, you can still physically get in. Well, that's garbage. You can walk between two heads? I guess it depends on where in the lock they're placed. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I'm going to have to log that away mentally. But yeah, let's... There we go. Now you can't get in anymore. That's, that's, that'll make Toby happy. That's his aesthetic, right? Yeah, but then he knows that somebody messed with it. It's better when he doesn't know. Hang on. Come take some chicken. Dendroid, are you back at your base? No, I'm still... I'm taking a look at your uh, your treetops. I haven't actually seen him since the first day, so... Aha. Huh. Yeah. Let me know what you think, because I suck at Minecraft. I'm trying to get better at building. This is a build SMB. Um, did you see... Have you seen the back road that goes out to Blue Base? There's a back... Entrant. There's a back exit. So blue base, you say? Yeah. I don't think I have. I'll show you. I mean, it kind of dead ends, but it heads. No, if you follow me over here. You went a weird way. It. I got. Uh, wait, turn where, down where here. Did you... What the? I'm comfortable flying around in the trees. Everyone so. just disappears. Okay, I'm by we're, my portal. We move in 3D, so we're probably a little bit hard to track. There we go. Um. <laughs> You get enough vines in a, in a tangle, you start moving. I, I've learned... A, that's one of probably the biggest thing. When we get signs, um, we were debating either the next one or the third one. What do you think, Merkel? Do you think it would be reasonable? Because I kind of want to do like ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic type of stuff. So maybe we find... I want to find a way to do that without having a formal written... Because like, you don't... Real world language doesn't start to crop up until Greco-Roman. Um, you know what would be really fun, too, is if we did wait to the, the third one to get signs? And the, we, uh... Ta -da. Yeah, they're better oh. to leave messages in. Ah! Don't go down there! There are skeletons? <laughs> it's a spicy skeleton. I, spicy I require skeleton. the bones. I require Oh, the sorry! Oh, oh. <laughs> um, whose bones? You walked between me. <laughs> you walked between me and the skeleton. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wow. It was a heroic death. Sorry. It was a heroic death. Was... My hero. Yeah, that that bites. I lost track of you guys. Sorry, I could have been there to help. I've got. No, it was it was a spider jockey, and he climbed up and kind of surprised us. There wasn't anything he could have done. Other than get in the way and maybe also die. Spider jockeys are unavoidable if you have spiders, which is kind of sad because we don't want them around. We are not fans. Oh, well, I know Conyer's kind of designing it, so it looks like we're getting signs early. Well, at the very least, in the Greco Roman, I want to paste. He died here? Yeah. That's yeah. terrifying. This should be a safe spot. Okay, I'm gonna... It was... It climbed up the vines. The spider did. And the and so it was, like, taking fire damage. I was gonna say, well, then just back off and let it go. Oh, yeah, I thought I could finish it off in another attack. I see. I've already taken some hits. We didn't say it was a good place to be. <laughs> we just <laughs> said that we made the road. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is actually pretty dangerous over here at night. It always has been. I've tried to fix it, but like, there's only so much you can do. Um, if you put a campfire down on the ground, that might be... I think I want to do this. I think that's what I want to do. No, 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 no. Stormy! I'm all right. I'm going to stay up here. <laughs> until it's daylight. Every time I try to go down that stupid thing, 
Something happened. Oh, great. I fell down here, and there's no way to get back up now. Because you blew up the bottom of the vines. You're the one who went down there! I know! Why am I getting in trouble for you making the dumb choice? Well, anyway, there's a clearing here, and it goes out to blue base. So it's... It's not too bad if you know what you're doing, and you're prepared, at least psychologically. Okay. No, We're all dying. All that back. Sorry about that. I feel bad when somebody don't not, want to not die, at my base dies at my base, because it's like, oh yeah, apparently I'm dangerous. No, Cub. Aha! I fooled you, now you were over there, and now I'm walking past you. It leaves a grave site. Get good. And that is how we stay alive here. Just running like a little baby. Alright. I don't know. The way I stay alive is either I'm in a tree or I'm in the water. <laughs> well, I've got to go eat something. And so I think this is... Stream's gone well, if only you had sometime. some chicken. Oh, I do have some chicken. Um... No, I mean, like, in real life. So we'll have to wrap up the stream here. But, um, thank you everybody for coming. I gotta get Din Dendry a stack of this chicken. And I will see yeah, you guys a... in the next episode next week. Um, I'm gonna be doing, probably doing some of those data pack or redstone videos soon. I kind of try and alternate between doing a compilation video of, of what we've got going on here and then, uh, oh, here you go. You're actually right here. There you go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm in third person. I'm thinking about it. And so, yeah, see you guys. Bye.